롯데햄 프라이드 치킨 어? 어, 롯데햄 프라이드 치킨 발라먹으니까 실감나게 맛있습니다 음, 더 날게 더 주세요 에이, 뼈 없는 닭튀김 요건 모를 거야 뼈 없는 닭튀김 롯데햄 프라이드 치킨 롯데햄 냉동식품 Did you get a notification for the uh, stream? Uh, mm -hmm. Internet issues. It's raining here. It was raining here, so let's see. Andy is third. Forty and fifth. All right, I'm not going to be clicking on chat, man. This this clicker thing is uh, acting funny. It's taking like two seconds just to pull up. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Oh, let's see. We got Sumo, Police, Moromi. What's up, Dale? I'm oh, just going to ink a couple uh, panels here. I think. Rob Dwayne, yes. Dwayne, yes. What's up, Rob? 
uh, pain rooms here. Oh, did Sumo post it up? Is that what happened? Yeah, I still have not gotten a, uh, a notification uh, that is live, so. Weird. Okay, uh, let's get back to inks. I'm gonna flip this around, and then I got a, uh, what is it, week 13, I think? Which is being weird. Um, yeah, so then uh, week 13 of sketch covers. Andy, I sent you a link if you want to hop on for, for you know, this shouldn't be a long stream. And let's see, I'll pull some different books. Oh, what I got here. Uh, we're not doing that. Okay, so... Thinking maybe, uh... A Ben Grimm. Maybe a... The Thing. Or Fantastic Four. Um... Oh man, this book is... This is not a 98. I'd have to doctor it up a bit. But anyways, I got another... Uh, uh, Cosmic Prophet there. Maybe another John Prophet. Uh, let's see, some book called Dollface. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, and then a short stack of... You can't see what that is. It's uh, Justice League versus Godzilla. What's up, Bemis? And uh, let's see, I got a few more of these left too. I got my uh, my blood bones, my ash can uh, sketch covers. So I got a couple of those left. So yeah, might might tackle that Fantastic Four, even though it's like completely terrible. Uh, the stock is the worst. <laughs> but I might. Okay, this thing's gotta go away somewhere. I have a loose charging pack underneath me that I'm trying to move around. Yes, I don't know. Uh, maybe one of those, or uh, I do have a short stack over here too that I might pull from. So I'm gonna flip this around. Happy weekend too, by the way. What's up, Andino? How are you? I'm moving at about 60% my superhuman speed. There we go. All right. So, uh, this page, uh, I might do a panel or two from it, I don't know, uh, but this is going to be all, like, animated stuff, uh, Frank Miller-esque style. Uh, we got this page here. That panel's pretty much done. Just going to add some white to it. And I got, uh, let's see, my other ones that are done. Repeat. Got my snowfall. This is gonna this is gonna be in its own layer. This is also gonna be reverse negative animation. Um got my my Frank Miller will be homage piece. Oh. Just piece I don't know, did I do this on stream? I don't remember if I did this on stream or not. And then this is the first one. There. Yeah, so pretty much I just gotta knock him out. Uh finish some spots here. Scan these. After they're scanned, I'm going to add some uh, uh, snowfall stuff over them for the uh, end print. For the end print. Here, fuck you! Hey, motherfucker, guess what? Fuck you. Ah! Ah, it's over the fuck! Ah! I'll see you at the gym tomorrow. Work out some of that shit. I don't know what's going on with your ass. All right, then I'll sing this one to you. Yeah, go hug your motherfucking big buff friend. How about that? Bunch of grown men hugging each other. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, no, fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. How about y'all go fuck each other? How about that? Do that. I'll sing this one as long as y'all make out with each other while I'm fucking doing it. You know that, right? 
They're going to be on YouTube tomorrow. I'll sing this one to you. I got another confession. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hey, he didn't he didn't know we were gonna be clipping him. He didn't know it was gonna go viral. He didn't even know. He didn't His little band. We helped, <laughs> we helped we just, check them into stardom. We just put uh Foo Fighters on the map. He didn't even know. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome. Yo, Dave Girl, right. you're welcome. You're welcome. What are you guys doing this weekend, Andy? Uh, watching the American Discord YouTube. Uh, cool. Comic Book Kings by Shelby. I told I told people, hey, 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 turn off pretty things. We're gonna be watching Shelby <laughs> draw inks. Oh man, have you uh, have you guys been watching the uh, the Gentleman Show? The Gentleman Show? No. Where's that on? No, Gentleman. It's on Netflix. It's a it's a Guy Ritchie show. I'm, oh. I'm finishing. I'm finishing up the final episode tonight. So I saw the movie, movie, and I really liked the movie. I didn't know there was a show. It's it's not that. It's not what? It's not that. Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I've been watching. I've been watching the Nickelodeon uh, uh, documentary, man. Woo! Oh no, 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 no! You stay away from those. No man, no, I can't. You know me. If there's two things about Andy Perez, it's in the movies and documentaries and, and in the comics. That's it, man. They, they suckered me in. Just man. those, two, I, just I, those I, two, three things. Just those two, three <laughs> things. You need to know, man. You need to know what happened to Drake Bell, man. What happened to Amanda Bynes? What was the making of, of Drake and Josh, you know? Yeah, Whew, yeah we, already, we already watched those. I, too invested. Too invested. I'm kind of. I'm kind of done with them, man. With Nickelodeon or or Dan Schneider, just documentaries. Oh, just documentaries. <laughs> like I'll, I'll do. I'm okay with the Tiger King stuff, like the over the top, you know. But well, yeah, no, it's I can't plug, too real. I can't plug this enough, man. But we, uh, if anybody has not watched the uh, the documentary, the Beastie Boys. Um, that was released by Apple. That that was so good. That was so good. Oh. I mean, long long oh, time fan. Movie? Yeah, yes. long time fan. I didn't even know some of that stuff. I mean, I didn't even know there was a girl in the band at the beginning. I had no clue. Like, just blew my mind. Blew my mind. Yeah. Like they need to bring her back. All right. Yes. So, hello to everybody. I'm sorry What's to up, barge in on a. Uh, on Shelby's stream, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to narrate as much as I can on chat so that he can continue doing that fantastic artwork. And it gives me an opportunity to hang out with my boy, which it's been uh, far and few between these days. So, uh, hello, Rick. Yeah. Hello, Mark. I'm Siren. Hello, Henry. Hello, Sumo. Uh, hello, Andino. Paulus. Sketchcraft. Uh, who am I missing here? Uh, I think that's everybody. Dale. Hello, Dale. Yep. Maroni. So, yeah, what are you drawing today? Uh, I, I'm just inking. I, I'm finishing some pages of a, a project for uh, something that's going to be animated. Andy, look. Hey, dude, this is weird. Look, watch. See the head at the top? Look. It's like you planned it. It almost <laughs> lines up, man. It's crazy, huh? Look. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's going to be animated. And then uh, I'll have a hard copy book of it, too. So, okay, to bring ass. to bring everybody up to speed, you're doing this for what now? This is a, a comic you're releasing. I have to do a project in uh, my After Effects, so I figured why not do something of my own instead of just it's a motion comic is what is literally literally what we have to do. Okay, so you're doing all the line art so, first, and then you're scanning it in, and then you're gonna do some After Effects to the artwork. Yeah, basically got to make a, a two-minute film. Whoa, man. That sounds like a task in itself. Is it like a whole... Um, is that like the assignment for the whole class? Yeah. yeah like for the whole semester? Yeah, and you don't have to be the artist. Like, uh, uh, my homie in there, he he's doing one. It's based on some some manga that he reads. I don't know what it what it's called, but it's it's uh, it looks all cute. And then he was showing me the artwork in it. I was like, whoa, this isn't cute. So it's pretty it, dark. 
for all your classmates who are on right now, if you guys haven't started, I challenge you, I 100% challenge you. There's this great novel called Akira. If you guys want to animate that, do it. I think it'll probably put you on the map. It's such a great, great book that uh, really needs to be animated, in my opinion. If anybody could turn that bike, make it go fast in the freeways, animate <laughs> them, then clown gangs, do it. I mean, by far. Uh, another book series that uh, I think should be animated is the Dragon Ball series. If you guys have not uh, read those, you guys should possibly animate it if you can. Great stuff, man. Yes. Great stuff. Yes, animate animate the things. Uh, Yo, Wolfenbear, and, what's up? And TM, I had to, uh, no, I had to take a break of my doodling because I want to be here to support my boy. But uh, yeah, yes, I, I was actually just wrapping up a doodle right now. He caught me at a good time. Want to show it? You want to show it? I was, um, I sent Andy the link earlier because I was like, uh, let's see if he hops in. And I noticed that you were first in. through fifth in the chat. So I was like, hey, man, you got, you know, like multiple man over here. <laughs> Andy, listen, yeah. so uh, Sketchcraft yeah. here, you know who that is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love his stuff. Rob, uh, Rob when's your book come out? So I guess he's he just finished up that fourth issue of Spawn that he's working on. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he, he was. Uh, he's been streaming. So he does these uh, these NDA streams where like he'll he'll uh, he'll show off other recorded videos of his art behind him mm -hmm. while he's working on stuff that he can't really show. You know, like chat. So I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, he had said. I think he had said he's on. He finished book four or had one week to go. So. So Michael, Very cool, man. That's super cool. Kudos, kudos. Yeah. Andy, uh, how old were you when Todd first hired you to draw Spawn? How old was I when what? When uh, McFarlane hired you to draw Spawn. Um, let's see. It was shortly after Malibu did that ad of him. About two months after that? Yeah. And then you did, what, eight, <laughs> eight issues of Spawn? Then I did, uh, what was it called? Uh, there was one of the, the original ones. Um, did about eight page, uh, eight books. Um, but unfortunately, they never saw the night, night of day because uh, uh, Dwayne Turner took took over. Uh, and it was a fantastic book. <laughs> by, by far, I'm glad Dwayne Turner took it because, man, it was a fantastic book at the end. Yeah, I'm glad Dwayne Turner took it, too. Why do I have ink on my finger, Andy? What's going on here? Oh, so no. he says, comes, comes out this summer. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, Rob says, done this week, one more issue to go. Ramping up the lines every issue. Oh, can't wait. Rob's got a cool style. Uh, I'm going to convince him one of these days to do a... Uh, He's gonna do a rage piece for me, or maybe a dark shrine piece too. I don't know. Whatever he's able to do. That's cool, man. Yeah, I believe I follow him on, on Insta. I think that's how I discovered him. Sketch that's some cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Let me confirm that before uh, I get called out that I am or not. Well, I fig I figured so because uh, I noticed you you've been going to uh you've been going to punk rock concerts without me with other spawn artists. Oh yeah, well you weren't available that night. I saw you went. You guys went and saw uh, <laughs> Descendants with uh, well, who? Raymond Gay. Raymond. Yeah. Is he still doing covers? Is he still doing covers? Yeah. Actually, I think he just announced that uh, he did a cover for Haunt, or not Haunt, but there's a Haunt cover coming out in his fun. Hmm. Okay. But um, yeah. Friendly reminder: we have uh. <laughs> Ministry in a couple of days. Yeah, I know. Stocking up on them vitamin D's. Sure, don't pass out. It'll be fine. Okay, so my my bad, Rob. I was not following you. I just hit the, the follow button. I know I had seen your work. I love it. I, which, I love the which follower are you now? Thirty-seven thousand eight hundred sixty-eight. I believe I'm 40,701. <laughs> Andy, show what you're working on, man. 
You can just hold it up. You don't have to switch your camera unless oh, you're well, still working on it. Actually, actually, it was all digital, so I, I probably have to share my monitor, right? Yeah, I it's mean, digital. Uh, you said? Yeah, it's digital. Is it AI? Yeah, um, I went ahead and uh, downloaded. It's faster. Uh, yeah, AI is awesome. It's super faster, man. I just set up an account yeah. with Midjourney, and I want to like, do oh, the me. Yeah, do draw me in the style of Robbie Robert <laughs> Shelby Robertson. Uh, a death blow, and bam, I got it. Nice. That's what you should right. do. Let me. Um, where is it? So, how do you share this again? Uh, just go down to share. I mean, if you want to share a screen, just go to share a screen, and then uh, I'll have to pull it up. In the settings, right? Uh, down in the bottom, it'll say settings or present. Present it's under present. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Who was that? Hi, Jenny. Yeah, it was Jenny. Hi, Jenny. She's not she can't hear me. <laughs> she too is uh Dude, what is Sunday. what's up mo bigs what's going on guys oh look at this yeah look that's my puppy look at that he followed you back she just she just woke up from her nap all right let's see that's right penguin knows what's up yeah, it's too much effort. So Jenny's doing the thing where she's taking away <laughs> the puppy, sorry. like the child. <laughs> Say hi, baby. Say hi, baby. Yeah, baby, baby. Yeah, Bro, my my uh, my Adobe my Adobe okay, certification right. instructor, he has uh, he has two, and all of class Andy. Uh, he has these English bulldogs. Dude, all they would do is either snore, fart, or fight. Yeah, that's part, that's basically what they do. Is it yeah. showing it? There it is. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, so I oh, thought man. I uh, I had this done in um, just as a quick line art. And I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a relaxful Sunday. Just add some colors to it. Splashy splash. For all some those that want to see my dirty laundry. Uh, because they're gonna question if it's AI. This is what my uh, does it does it show it? Shall we the? Uh, oh, it's already it's already screen capped and it's already screen capped and uh, no, it doesn't show layers. No. Oh man. Shows. Yeah. Why wouldn't it show? Okay, so I'm trying to show my layers so they could see like there's like fifty something hundred layers here. Nah, they don't need to see that. Yeah, they do because they're gonna think it's AI. They don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't. Uh, look here, I gotta bring this up so I can hold them to it. Uh, Rob says wrapped up my commissions. Yes, yeah, screenshot that. Screenshot that, and then also run it through AI so that we know that Rob's not AI. <laughs> so look, I'm gonna turn off like a handful of layers here so people can start seeing how like it's all. Look, Pedro says uh, bulldogs are my favorite kind of dog. They allow those down there. I think Pedro's in, in Panama. Dude, what are you doing, Andy? What was that? I'm showing people that there's at least 52 layers to this thing. Um, oh, and did you I was paint, also inspired did you paint, by did you the, paint uh, that background? the plastic. Did you paint that yeah. background? I, I uh, here, let me show the background. Turn off all the layers. My hard light oh. layer. Yeah. Um, and then I put like an over on the over. It's a couple yeah. of splatter effects. Did you do your uh, CMYK check on it for print? Well, here's a something that, that you actually advised me to do. Oh, there's a reference. It's trying to do some of the splatter like that one. Yeah. Um, I know you had advised me not to uh, to do like the, the, the color dodge because that one had a uh, mm -hmm. translate pretty well. If you were just going to do um, regular RGB. Yes. Yes. So um I, yeah man I, I definitely was like i'm gonna have to keep this as solid as so i guess to achieve stuff like this just get like a brighter color just get a lighter and, and don't focus too much on the overlays and stuff 
I'm trying my best to not have to rely on, on the overlays and actually go on full on color. Because you could actually achieve a lot of stuff without having to do a hard light, uh, you know, multiply. It's You could actually do it just by the, the variance of colors. Yeah, you know? I, I love using hard light layers lately. Um, th this is, uh, yeah, Noah says dodge and burn all the way. That's why Noah has a C minus in his art class right now, Andy. <laughs> is that why? Yeah, this color gamut's all messy. Yeah. Thanks, Mo Biggs. Colors. Sorry, I just got back. Uh, humanity first. Okay, I'm not sure. He says great job, but humanity first. Um, yeah, actually, it's like I said, I just started my morning. I cranked that out, just add some colors and stuff. It, it's super relaxing. And I, again, it's just to um, get the wheels going. Sometimes you go yeah. too far without like doing something. I, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree, Shelby. You, you go through this whole long base of uh, just inking or drawing or whatever. And then you have to go back to colors and it's like, oh man. But then if you do colors like for a whole week, dude, by the second day, right? You're on it, you already know it. You're not confused yes. out within two yes. hours. And then you're going back and then you're trying to do something traditional. It's like, okay, how did I, I do this? I mean, that happens to me. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good at, I'm pretty good at teeter pottering back and forth with doing ha having to kind of jump back and forth just because um really because of school man that's school we kind of have to use a lot of different things uh every day pretty much and they're great but i just remember watching um what was his name ross Dross, and he loves to color dodge and i was like man i'm all in and i got all in and invested and i'm, I'm like i'm gonna color dodge everything I the my, dog, my, old... my face, and nah, dude, like, then you go to CMYK to, like, make a print, and it's like, what happened to my glow? What happened to my vibrance? What happened to my burn? Yeah. It's my old, a... uh, my old art director at Burst, the game, the video game company, uh, he used, bro, he used to dodge and burn a lot. On his final pass, he would dodge and burn stuff all the time. Instead of, he... He he says he didn't he didn't like multiple layers. He liked working on one layer. And I'm like, yeah, but then you kind of commit to that edit, and then you have to repaint it if they don't like it, right? Which he did. He had to do that all the time. Um, so uh, I remember when it, when I handed in my first painting there, they were like telling him like, hey, find out what Shelby's doing and do that. Because <laughs> that seems to be working. <laughs> yeah, they just they like they like the colors, and I was like, oh, you know what I do is I just paint regular. I paint it as if it's a acrylic painting, and then I would jump in at the very end, and I would create hard light layers. I would never use I wouldn't even use screen or dodge. I'd do hard light layers using lighter colors, or sometimes the exact same base color, and it just bro, it ramps it up. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's why that's why all those those colorists now in comics that everyone really enjoys their work, like um, uh, Arif, what's the name, Arif Prieto, and uh, oh, that other guy that colored, so uh, Brian Valenza, Brian Valenza. Those two, uh, those dudes use hard light layers like crazy, dude, and that's that's what it is. I said they're good um, tools and they're all good tools, right? Everything it's not it's great. not a coloring tool, it's it's like a final pass tool. Yeah, like, it, I it's would never use it in the middle. Yes. Yes. Rim lighting, all that stuff, whatever. But yes. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, rim but, lighting you know, glows and all that. Hell yeah, man. I'll use those before I'll use screen or dodge now. I used to be addicted to using dodge. And a hundred percent, you know. Way back. A hundred percent every artist should find their own style right their their own knack and what works and just because that artist is doing it that way if you want to try to use it to apply to enhance your work or to try to get like another effect go right ahead but to do it like cookie cut um yeah, yeah it's it's it, it probably doesn't have the grand benefit of it all um but yeah uh so Sorry, Shelby. I'm just because I guess I was focused on the piece that I had up. Um, 
I'm going to go through the chat real quick. Uh, Noah says something about thoughts on the AI spawn spawnery winner. Noah, this isn't the channel for that. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah, there's yeah, just a lot of help. There's a lot of hellos. Already, yeah. I've already voiced my opinion on that. <laughs> uh thanks rob for the follow back appreciate it like i said i always liked it, your stuff i thought i was following you i apologize for that but that's why i made sure that i was um let's see let's see, let's see so rob here. rob says can't see layers good excuse andy see that's what i'm telling you we're in the day of age we got to show the layers we have to show the layers why is it not have. showing your layer did you just share the file is that why I shared the screen. Does that affect it? You no, I don't know, man. The they kind of changed the layout a little bit to uh, Streamyard, so I don't know if that might. I don't know. They might have changed something. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes on mine it'll only show the like the file, which is weird. I don't know. Maybe because I'm on a I'm using a third screen. You know, it's not like my primary. Not really sure. Okay, so Rob also says, uh, also fun tip, if you do uh, use Color Dodge, double click the layer to open layer properties and uncheck transparency shapes layer. It will make gloss look way better. Oh man, I might have to screenshot that. That's a good tip. Never tried it. Yeah, so Rob, what would, so Rob's, Rob's uh Rob's very well versed in uh in his Adobe. He he uses he uses Adobe quite a bit. Um, after like after the fact too, like he'll do a lot of traditional hand coloring and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he'll scan it and do some edits, you know. So what's the uh, what do you think is the the fair percentage that you would say that you know Photoshop in and out? I'll be completely honest, been in the business for what, over 20 years as a designer and an illustrator and stuff. I probably have tapped maybe 20% of what the, the, the capabilities of that software is. I think I'm probably closer to maybe, I mean, I've been using it now since uh, 98, I'd say 99. I was using it regularly since 99. So however many years that is, I would say I'm only at like uh, maybe 15, Andy. Yeah. Well, yeah, because the thing the thing is like there's a lot of stuff I don't use, and there, so I'm always learning something new in, the, in it. So. Exactly, exactly. Like um, I get blown away by sometimes that they show you like, oh, you do this with the channels, and then you go back into the layers, and then you go back to like if you change it to RGB. I'm like, dude, I am completely lost. And I've well, done dude, this for one years. of my instructors, he he, uh, he was he was talking about something. And he's like, yeah, I want you all to download, um, uh, if you don't already have it, uh, download After Effects and do this and that. And I was like, oh, this is a small file. I'll just edit it in Photoshop. Nope. And he goes, no, Shelby, it's the video. And I said, you can edit videos. And he was like, what? I was like, yeah, dude, open the file and then uh, show off your timeline. He was like, he's like, see, C class. He's like, I've been using this program for 40 years. I never even knew this. Yeah, pretty much, man. Pretty much. I mean, I was just doing a lot of photo edits, um, trying to do digital colors, you know, just trying to do artwork. So it's just been a lot of that, you know, but then they start right. talking about like, oh, you could do 3D uh, renderings. Oh, you could do uh, animations in Photoshop now. And, oh, you could do this and that. And like, dude, I'm like, what are you talking about? You could vector stuff now. Yeah, there's, yeah, I think pretty soon, uh, I mean, I, I've always said it, dude, I, I think that as, it's game over for Illustrator as soon as they get the vectors incorporated. Well, kind of like uh, Clip Studio is a little more powerful of a program because you can work in multiple, you can work in rasterized, raster layers, vector layers, and uh, traditional Photoshop layers at the same time.
and uh, you know Adobe wasn't really offering that for a bit. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like that's what I'm, I'm you telling the, you. I'm, uh, did you go to the shop lately? A comic shop? I, yeah. No. <laughs> you haven't? No, 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 no. Oh man, I got so much to. Uh... No, I, I guess I can't show it. Yeah, I can. Hold on. Let me turn off my my camera yeah, real it. quick. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'll hold just on. I'll just remove it. You don't have to turn it off. I'll just okay. remove it. I'll watch Bruni come back. Yeah, I'll just bring him back. I will just bring him back. A little hangout sesh. Yeah, and then today, um, so when I'm done with this page, um, I will do a, a sketch stream as well. Is he back? You back already? Yes, sir. Back? What is that? What do you got? Look at this. So, just, get, just for scale, that from? just for scale, this is literally right next to my head. It's that huge. Yeah, Andy has a giant head. So, as everybody knows, uh, TikTok is the best place to find all the cool stuff you should be buying. And uh, it, it tells you like what to buy at all times. Um, so check this out. Right? So it's like, oh, that's cool. Right. Right? Check this out. So not only that, let me see if I can get close enough. Does his mouth light up? It's supposed to. Oh, here we go. Right. I made you big. Hmm. So I can't get it to work right now, but it actually uh, shoots <laughs> flames out of it. Do it. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm not in the. So the remote's not like connecting here, but let me see. See, that's why you shouldn't buy things off of TikTok. Ooh. Put your face in focus. There you go. There it is. Oh. So it's oh, cool. It, That's it, Aquanet. It, so you put a can of Aquanet in his bag. No, even better. You can do your hair. It's a full on exhaust system. What's up, Dana? Because I got it through uh, TikTok, this thing shoots carbon monoxide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's awesome. Dude, the dogs are passing out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to uh, put this on the passenger seat of my uh, my old Trans Am. I'm just going to be listening to Every Rose Has a Thorn. Every Rose. Yeah, that's going to be me. <laughs> that's funny. All right. So number two on the... Uh... Dude, what did you find on TikTok? And what did they get you to buy? Are you buying TikTok stuff now? Look at this. What's wrong with you? Lucky Shelby, I got it. What? Does that also release uh, carbon monoxide? No, this one does not. And look, there's no Michael Keaton to go with it. Where'd you get that from? Is that Todd? Is that yes, a Yes, dude. Okay, so check it out. You remember when they released these, when the, the Flash movie came out and like, they completely sold out everywhere? Right. Amazon just dropped like a fire sale and they were like 60 bucks. And it was straight 60, up. 60 bucks for the, the car and the the figure. Yeah, and dude, it's look, like it's huge. It's like this 18 inches. Voice. Like like you could literally put the whole figure in there. Dude, I was like, no way, because I, I actually went to the extent of going to eBay. I'm like, I got to get this thing, man. I got to get this because, you know, I know Michael Keaton ain't getting that $10 million picture deal. 
So I got to make sure that I could help him, uh, you know, pay his rent. Um, yeah, man, you got to make sure that. And I couldn't find you it. Make sure that I'm pretty sure McFarlane uh, is paid for or pays maybe. I couldn't find it to save my life. Penguin's asking if they don't have Target. Or... No, no, no. Andy only he shops on no, TikTok. No, no. No, no, you he see, only shops on TikTok. I'm pinned to this chair, Mark. So like, <laughs> like about 20 hours a day, I can't leave this chair. Like I have really bad yeah. back problems because of it. Um, so like all my shopping has to be done like online, and you know when you just you know flip through with the 20 different TikToks that are sent by my friends, it's like oh I could just buy that straight up and I just pull it. And yeah. then you know team the Timu shop doesn't disappoint. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It right. still has that lead, lead, lead paint on the sound waves. Can't beat it. Yeah, but Mark, his uh, Andy's back problems are because of his huge boobs, or not because of his chair. Yes, <sighs> it's the ladies that pay the bills. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. No, um, unfortunately, Mark, where I live, for some reason, we get the hand me downs, so we're we have a better chance of finding things at Ross dress for less <laughs> than we actually do at a Target or a Walmart. Um, like all the Masterverse figures, um, I've either had to buy them online or... Oh, that's right, Ross. Ross yeah. Had. So, yeah. let me put it this way. Never saw the, the Battle Cat Masterverse. I actually found that at Ross for $6. Like, that that's how, like, down the, the, down the, the feeding pole we were at. Um, that Batmobile... Never saw the light of day at any of our stores here. Like there, there weren't even yeah. anything on the on the shelves. So yeah. like I said, I went straight Dude. to Todd. Todd was like, here, these are the, the links you could buy them at. Every single one of them had them sold out. And then his shop was like, well, if you pay $400 and get the whole set, then you could get the Batmobile. I was like, I can't do that. Cause I really just wanted the Batmobile. So to my surprise, it was on Amazon for 60 something dollars. So I was like, no, I'm pulling the trigger. Like That's what I have doing, to. Man. Because you know, you know for a fact, like between the Flash movie and Beetlejuice two, there's no residual coming in for Michael Keaton. You know what I'm saying? And and like the guy, the guy, my, the dude's my boy, right? Because you know those uh, Mr. Mom checks stopped coming a long time ago. So yeah, he hasn't he hasn't made money off Mr. Mom in about uh, 38 and a half years, Andy. Yeah, if there's two things people know about me, right, is that I you know support the indie comics and you I love- gotta support my boy Michael Keaton. Uh, you know, and, and documentary. Yeah, those are two things. <laughs> and what's the other one? Multiplicity. You know, those multiplicity checks aren't coming in anymore. Do you think he got paid good for Birdman? No, no way. That was that's one of those. Uh, I'm. You do two films for them and one for me. Yeah, Birdman was one for him. There's no way. <laughs> Unfortunately, one, man. man. <laughs> you know, Rob has a good question. Does Michael King get multiple residuals for multiplicity? I would hope so. I would hope so, because there was multiple versions of it. Yeah, <laughs> and he just cost me zero dollars. He picked up the car with the figure. Yeah, man, I don't I, like. I, I've had that discussion with Shelby before. Like our ma- Masters of the Universe Origins are down to two pegs at my Walmart's, and like non-existent at my Targets. Masters, they they're done. They're, yeah, they they're have done. like one roll, and that's it. Like they're, they're done. So Origins is out of the stores now. Yeah, uh, you're only going to see the cartoon versions of Origins now, and then the uh, the regular line is only going to be. It is already only available uh as online exclusives through uh mattel creations i just got i just got a cyclone it's cool cyclone just launched he sold out in a day uh so i just pre-ordered him um rob said he just pulled the trigger on that batmobile shelby oh did he it's 60 bucks yep yeah i'm telling you it was super low key. A, a buddy of mine sent it to me. Goes, hey, I don't know if you know about this. I, I still need to open this, but uh, so I got my my comic version of Manny Faces. Oh, that's cool. The mini comic version, and then uh, this was the last exclusive from a few weeks back. 
dude, those are going fast. Like, so, so this one just came out and he was delivered quick. This rock on guy. Mm -hmm. The guy that turns in, he's the asteroid dude that turns to a rock. Uh, they what, put him up against the... Wasn't Hornet. there a few different characters, though? Yeah, there's him, there's Rockon, and then there's another one called Stonedar or something like that. Uh, he, he's going to be released. They've already said he's going to come out. Um, yeah, man, so those... Yeah, Cyclone. Um, there's an Extendar figure coming out uh, pretty soon as an exclusive the, their next crowdfunding thing is going to be uh lady lady slither's lair so shelby um henry asked if uh those castle grayskull repops with the sorceress figures worth much you're you're the mo the matu uh i don't know no, no, no! I don't know. I only, I only mess with the figures. I only mess with the origins line and only the figures and the vehicles. I don't do anything else outside of that. Um, there is a lot of stuff that's big bucks. So um, there's a there's an all clear. Uh, what is it called? Like a designer figure of um, Skeletor that came out, and he comes in a glass case and. Uh, He's about 400 bucks now. He's just Holy a standard God. Skeletor, but he, he's clear plastic. But he's like some sort of designer figure that came out. And he comes in like a plastic case and it has like a serial number, sort of like a like a pop vinyl. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, there's... Andy, you're going to have to keep your eyes out, man. Uh, they have two releases at San Diego for Masterverse figures. There's two. And... For Origins, for me, same thing. But what what Mattel has said, according to these channels that I follow, these YouTubers, um, they've said that they're going to have an early bird online thingy for people at home who can't be there. But you have to get it within like a, like a two-hour window. There's like a window where you have to be on their site to grab it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I it's it's all limited now. It's all limited quantity stuff, and I'm kind of. Like, we spent all the money on that Michael Keaton, man. Yeah, but it's for a good cause. Who's the money going to go to? Dolph Lundgren? If I buy a a, a Masterverse figure, like, come on, man. <laughs> like, I'm supporting Michael Keaton. That's true. You, you know, man, uh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, Dolph Lundgren don't need to eat. He's got muscles, and he's still doing Expendables, man. Like he's 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 swimming in the re residuals from Expendables. But like That's Michael true. Keaton, like I, I honor the man, man, because his Beetlejuice alone. That I, I remember watching uh, Beetlejuice and just staring at the the movie and going, "Wow, I too am strange and unusual." And then it's just like you made the in instant connection with anything Tim Burton. <laughs> yeah, Shelby would just have me on just to hear me rant. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you again for uh, the package. I don't think I, I've seen you since then. Um, we received the, the no. package. The cookies are long gone. Um, could possibly pick right. up more cookies while I'm there. <laughs> no, man, they're out. They're gone. That's it. They're Season's gone. over. Yeah, my neighbor. Yeah, my neighbor. Uh, uh, one of my neighbors stopped by. She's like, "Hey, do you got any more of those thin mints?" And I was like, "Nope." And what you do is you shut the door real slow. <laughs> and then the foot comes in. Hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. And then you stomp on the toe and put it out like a ciggy. <laughs> and put done. some weight into it. It's <laughs> what oh, you do. Man. Yeah. Hey, man, so she wanted those cookies. I was like, "Nope." So, uh, I guess since I have you here, I'm going to pull my uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, Wolf of Wall Street moment here. And I want to see how I could convince you of some of the upcoming shows that are, are coming. And maybe how I could lock you in into some of these so that we could go ahead and partake in some of these adventures. Shows. 
Well, for sure, for sure, there's going to be Dia de los Deftones in November. Doing, I'm for concerts. Yeah, concerts. I ain't going to line some Comic Con's pocket. I'm talking about concerts, dude. Okay, so we got uh, Ministry. I locked you in on Ministry. It's 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 done. You, you right? It's two two. It's two steps from your house. How can you say no to that? It's Andy, a further walk so, to your mailbox than it is to go see Ministry. Andy, I know I pulled that one off. So, how old did you feel at that? Not as old as Milo. Let me tell you. It I know where you're going. Show. Not as old as Milo. So, okay. So check this out, man. So my buddy know, Fred. You met you met Fred before. Fred, uh, him and his wife, they're they're pregnant now. But uh, Fred, you know, Fred's like a punky dude, man. He's the one that cosplayed me. Fred was the one that cosplayed yeah. me, and somehow his photo cosplaying me showed up as Carl's Carl. photo in the in the book for out for El Paso El Paso Con. Yeah, that was so weird. <laughs> It's all it was all Carl Dutchin and it was like a guy cosplaying as you Fred <laughs> cosplaying as me somehow this photo is Carl's profile picture and booklet. And then it's that funny because so weird. I don't even photo, know how it even happened. And then your photo is also there and it's like, hey, that. these guys look like twins. Oh man, that was so weird. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can find it easy. Let's see that. So I know I know where you're going, right? So here I am, right? I'm in my uh well, you know, just like the dead milkman, you know, the Camaro. And I'm like there listening to Suburban Home, right? From the descendants. Mm, yeah. You know, and then followed up by I like food, and I'm going all at it. And then it made me think, okay, these guys started, they formed in what, 1977, which is the year that I was born. So I'm like, yeah. dude, these guys are super old. So I Googled them. Dude, I found out, and I think I know why they didn't go to Tucson. Remember I told you they canceled the Tucson show, and you're like, no, they're coming. Yes. So yes. in two, 2023, Milo had a minor stroke, according to the internet. So they had to cancel some dates. Dude. Oh. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, there's no way you should be touring. Like, just the, the amount of stress that you're giving your body and the screaming, the yelling, and the, the, the right, the whole country. What are you doing going on tour? But Andy, yeah, punk dude. rock don't punk rock don't stop, bro. For nobody. Punk rock don't stop. So there's so there's Fred. That's my buddy Fred there on the left. So he went he went to the Descendant show in Phoenix. Him and his wife Alex. So yeah, Alex, she's man, she might actually be due soon. They announced her pregnancy a while back. But anyway, so yeah, you got you got um so yeah, here's Fred. And then at a show in Cottonwood. He cosplayed me, right? So mm -hmm. there's him cosplaying me. This is him. He dyed his beard black and everything. Uh, he had told me that he... Uh, he told me that he... Uh, when he came out of the bathroom, because his, his mom was there, and she screamed, dude. I, I guess it freaked <laughs> her out. She thought there was a stranger in the house. <laughs> yeah and and so carl and i are going to the carl and i are driving to the, carl was driving we, we were ride sharing and we're going to the show and we're pulling in and carl does a double take and looks over his shoulder while he's driving he goes bro that guy looks just like you and i was like what and i was like oh you they all want to look like me you know just making a joke out of it. <laughs> so we park and go in and there he is at my booth dude just waiting i was like what the hell this is weird man and he was hanging out at the booth and people would look at me and look at him and just get weirded <laughs> out and leave there that's me that's actually me um let's see here so this is the book this was the uh, the el paso con book so here's andy here let me see so here okay so here here's andy perez right here right right below uh carl right <laughs> So, so, so check this out. So Carl, who, who is Cyranowan and Chet, this is supposed to be Carl Dutchin right here. That's supposed to be Carl, right? Let me do this so you can see. That's supposed to be Carl. 
that's obviously not Carl. Carl looks like nope. dark Jeff Goldblum, dude. That's not Carl. That is Fred cosplaying me somehow made it in as a photo for a different <laughs> show in Texas. <laughs> which, which, by the way, I was also at... They forgot to put my photo in this book. So in a weird way, I still made it into the book <laughs> through a cosplayer <laughs> through Carl. Your stuntman made it and you did it. Yep. You're, you're uh, standing. Andy. See, there's Andy. Yeah, dude, I'm not even in this book. Yeah, I remember when I got a copy of the book. I mean, I sent that photo so fast to Shelby. Dude, that was hilarious. Actually, you know what? Isn't that Jenny's thumb? I think she sent it to me. Oh, is it? <laughs> and I forwarded it see. to you. Let me see if I can find. <clears throat> Enhanced like 200%. Yep. I think that's her. Yeah, I think so. Andy, where'd you go? Just getting something to drink. Sorry. In my little oh, fridge right next to me. Remember this? I this. I made a meme, dude. I made a meme off of it. <laughs> Blockbuster. <laughs> There's Carl's face. Not today. Was that the show where we got the Not Today Satan? Yeah, yeah, that's what I am. <laughs> oh, man. So Look, Shelby and I were like literally like neighbors. Like his booth was directly in front of me. And this kid just walks up, pretty tall, big kid, just walks like straight looking forward man not either like direction he's just looking forward and he's walking right past both of us as we're like kind of like talking he goes right past us and he's just like not today satan and that was it that's all he had to say he like literally walked and he said not today satan and he kept walking so we don't know what caused him to do that we don't know what triggered him but it was so random and it, it was, was your it was your artwork <laughs> it was, it was artwork. your work <laughs> Because he, when he walked by, he he did he stopped he he walked backwards, and then he looked at your <laughs> backdrop, and he goes, "Not today, you Satan." <laughs> He's just all doing the moonwalk backwards. <laughs> Not today. That was all you, man. You did it. <laughs> What's up, Jolly Green? Oh man, dude, you were supposed to finish that two panel set and took up all your time. You didn't look at. I've been working on it. I've been making jokes. I've been working on it. Hey, so you're you're good on your uh, fifty-two a week, huh? I just I need to do the one for uh, today. You know, yeah, I need to do one today. Did you already finish your your the one that is due? No, 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 no. Um, I caught up. What are you? I, what I, are you gonna do for that? I don't know. I, I to be honest, completely don't know. I thought about it this morning. So last night, Jenny and I went to go see a late, late, to stupid late uh, showing of The Crow. And I haven't seen that thing in, in forever in the theaters. So the original I, one? Yeah, the original one. So I was like, you know okay, what? I'm yeah. going to go. I'm going to go. And uh, we got home extremely late because of it. And dude, like, I'm I'm behind on so much stuff. Like, I just, but I'm, if I don't have it done today, I'll definitely have it done tomorrow. But luckily, I'm okay. up to date. Cause I, if Shelby, Shelby knows, I did like the first one, and then it was before I knew it was February. So like I had missed all of January. We were in the second week of, of February, so I was like way behind. I had to buckle down and get them all done. But yes, yeah, so I'm I'm at 12, 12 or fifty two. So I I just need the thirteenth, which is today. I think. Scott. Look at what I just did. Dude, do not put your hand down. <laughs> hey, start off. Every time I fall, every time I scream your name. I'll do it like the new crow. <laughs> Done. Cry. <laughs> Wasn't there one where it was just like a handprint on the face? The crow. Oh, God. The <laughs> Yeah, was that was that the was that the uh, the female crow? The, I think so. the third version. The uh, yeah, I have here. I have. Uh, let me see what I got. I think I have one of the runs here. Man, nothing's better than the OG crow, dude. Like, so I, okay. I'm not. I'm not. 
I am not going to watch a new movie. Hey, I'm going to put it out here. Hey, fuck the new crow. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> what? There's only one. Listen, man, for movies, there's only one, dude. It's Brandon Lee. You don't need anything else. Just like we didn't need a RoboCop 2 or a 3. We don't, uh, you know, the Judge Dredd remake was really good. Oh, yeah. But, but it's because the original was terrible. Um, the series is okay. The Wild Justice series. Have you seen this? I picked up a couple of issues, but honestly, I, oh. I didn't read the whole run. Look, they're pushing City of Angels. So, had good soundtracks. It's, All three movies had good soundtracks. Let's put it on the table, right? I was watching the Andy, trailer. Look who, look who drew it. Walking Dead Charlie Adler, bro. Oh, look at that. It's Charlie. Yeah, it's a three it's issue. Charlie. It's a three issue. One. It's it's okay. It's okay. Um, I have another series that uh, it was the Daredevil artist did. I have another uh, mini series that he did. Um, oh my god, why can't you remember his name? He has kind of a Bill Sienkiewicz-y style thing going on. Um, Go. Anyways, go on, man. I'm going to try to figure out who this is. I don't see it here. Did Andy freeze? No, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. Oh. All right, so I think I, I briefly touched on it with Shelby on um, via text, but it's one of those like, okay, you close your eyes, right? Close your eyes and then you take a deep breath, go into it, hit play on the trailer, right? And you're watching it or whatever. Now leave. Yes. <laughs> uh, do you, I, I was okay. So look, I was okay until she called him Eric, and he called her Shelly. Then it was one of those like, I can't, I can't stomach this. I can't, I can't, because the the original movie was so great. I have, I've had so many discussions about this film because for some reason people are asking me so much about this. Like I, I, I've, I've had so many extensive conversations. That's for me when it, it came out dirty. If The Crow was never done with Brandon Lee back then, and it was made today, it would make sense the way they, uh, in my opinion, the, the way they approached it. Because right now, if, if you remember when The Crow came out, it was very much the goth scene and metal and this and that. And, you know, it, it worked because it was very goth, right? And that was the scene that was kind of like coming out and it made sense. So for the new guy to look like Post Malone, does that make sense? Well, yeah, because you know a lot of the kids and all that stuff are doing that or the Edgar haircut or whatever. But for me, it just felt really dirty because the, the movie was such a, for me, a masterpiece in its time that once they said Eric and Shelly, it just felt dirty. Like it didn't feel right. Like it just, it, I, I couldn't disconnect. But if like, I just watched the trailer as, another crow film if it wasn't shally and eric and just another telling of another crow story i don't think i'd hate it so much i i for one no, didn't, they, i didn't they, hate they, city of angels i actually like city of angels not as good as the, the original one of course but no city of angels city city of angels you know if it's a standalone kind of adjacent thing then it's kind of it's kind of okay but this uh no man they're, they're taken from all this like trap rapper bullshit dude i guess yes. i can't i can't get into that man you know uh like who are you trying to sell this movie to because like like og a, a lot of people like me yeah. who've seen the movie a hundred times are not gonna be filling it we're gonna be like nope not today satan we ain't, we ain't <laughs> dropping money on this shit and then uh who, who so who are you trying to who you're marketing to because most kids, most, most, I, th I feel like uh, adults that they're marketing to are still like kind of Pokemon minded. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a lot of the uh, millennials and stuff are not, they haven't moved away from that, right? Like they, they didn't grow up in that scene. Like, like we had so heavy, um, you know, high school 90, 94, right? Right. 
that scene kind of died out around 98. It's like, who are you trying to sell it to? Yeah, and you know what? So part of the uh, part of the joy of, of going to see it again um, in the theater, right? Um, because I mean, the opportunities are kind of rare sometimes to go see a movie like that in the theater. Uh, was to rewatch it, and I don't remember if I had seen it with Jenny in the theater in one of the re-releases or not. But you know, it was nice to see it with her. So Seth was telling me because my son, um, I showed it to him a while back. Um, and he even said, like, he walked out of it and he was like, wow, I totally forgot how, what a great film that is. And, you know, now him coming, at, looking at it through an adult eyes, you know, very fresh. He was like, wow, it was an amazing film. And he had taken his girlfriend who had never seen The Crow, like never seen The Crow. So this was her first introduction to seeing it. And I had asked her, you know, full opinion, you know, did you like it, you didn't, you know, be honest. And uh, she was like, no, it was really good. And I even told her, you know, jokingly, now you understand the phenomenon that you see at the Hot Topic or the Spencers, right? Uh, but yeah, like for her, it was like, yeah, it was such a touching story. It was such a t touching movie. Like she really liked it. And I was like, yeah. And, and you know, it's, it's time stamped, obviously. But um, yeah, she could walk out of it and still say like it was a good movie. Like that was cool. Yeah, it, it's it's are, a good film, dude. It's such a good film. It's, it's, are you gonna? Did you pre-order that 4K uh, Blu-ray? Um, I haven't you get that box set. The box set's yet. up for pre-order on Amazon right now. Yeah, it was like 35, I think. Shipped yeah, in May. So, dude, uh, they've only had they've only ever had that one Blu-ray from way back, and it's yep. it's barely DVD transfer, man. It's yeah. it's not that great. So, it's still um, grainy. Yeah, it'll be interesting, man. Like, I'm, I'm going to get it, but I'm kind of also a skeptic. I'm like, you know, sometimes that SDR crap, it can mess up a movie, you know? Um, what I'm worried about is some of the CGI. Like, if they were really going to release it in 4K, I would have hoped that they kind of went in there and kind of fixed some of that stuff. Point. Oh, cleaned it up or like the face isn't kind of... Yeah. Because they had to do a lot of that stuff where the face was over the stunt double, right? Right, and that's, yeah. that, that, that was something I was trying to explain to my son, that this movie wasn't supposed to have been what was released. Um, who knows what kind of a film we would have got if he didn't pass away. But I was talking about the Skull Cowboy, remember? Um, they did they did pretty good for what they had, man. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, but it's like I was telling him, when he walks into the room, that's not him. Every time you just see the back, that was the body double. Um, like you mentioned, when he's standing there and the lightning hits, you could see the head like kind of bounce a little bit. It's not, yeah, <clears throat> yeah they kind of did what they could at the time. Yeah, I do hope that they, um, I do hope that they they fix some of it, but who knows? Yeah, man, but dude, when that movie came out, um, my buddies, I've told this story before, but my buddies and I, we were taking, uh, we were taking figure drawing at the junior college we were still in high school but we we're we we're taking jc classes we we're taking figure drawing with like you know the live nude model thing and then we were taking um uh i guess it'd be acrylic painting it was a painting class but it was literally just acrylics like it was just acrylic painting so we were doing things like still lives and some abstract stuff and uh uh, those two. Oh yeah, and we were all we were in a badminton league. Oh, <laughs> I can't make this up, dude. We were in a badminton league. We got our ass kicked all the time. Like we were actually really good, but uh, yeah, there was other people there that were way better, uh, collegiate level. Um, but yeah, man, we we would go watch that movie. No joke, Andy, for a year. Mm -hmm. That movie is probably out for about eight months, nine months. <laughs> In the theater it was out for a long time we probably watch that movie six times a month a month like, no kidding like yeah you know what we do we'd hit up all four of us we'd, we'd either before or after class we'd hit up baskin robbins we get our cappuccino blasts all of us we'd be like like straight out of zoolander <laughs> you know we get our cappuccino blasts and then we the theater never cared we were there so much they didn't care if we brought food in so we would just go to the theater pay up go in and watch the movie uh buddy barry 
he bought a vendor copy so that he could watch it at home. He bought a vendor copy of The Crow back in the day. Mm -hmm. 300 was it 360 bucks VHS. It was a vendor copy, one one that uh like one that only the rentals were able to get. It was like a preview rental um that they would only send out to places like uh Sam Goody and Music Land and all that. He had a he had a he had a contact that sold him one for like about uh, close to 400 bucks. Yeah. And then of course we all we all got our dubs off of him. So but no, man, that, that movie, it was a big deal, man. It was a big deal. Look, look dude, it's its like, uh, can you imagine if they did uh, Nine Inch Nails, the movie, and then they're like, Zach Braff as Trent Reznor? Hey, would you flip your shit? Or would well, you be like, yeah, that's cool? They'd be like, uh, Timothy Chalamet is going to be uh, Trent Reznor. <laughs> dude. They're gonna have to go to Timothy, man. Timothy's yeah. the guy. Um, yeah, dude. Like, no, I. Again, so I base the films for like their individual story, right? That, and I mean, unfortunately, after the second one, they had the same theme, right? The girlfriend, the fiance, whatever. Right. Uh, avoid the Edward Furlong one. It was terrible all through, you know. Salvation. Uh, was okay, but I just I don't know. I just the I guess the way it was filmed, it just didn't connect with me. I I don't know. Uh, like I said, City of Angels. I think because it can it, it continued the same kind of uh, atmosphere and theme as the first one. Um, I think Salvation is the one. The mechanic. Based on... That's a mechanic I feel story. Like so... Yeah, I feel like. I feel like uh, Salvation was based on the Alex Maleev books, I think. I might be wrong about that. That one had good art. Hmm. That one had good art. And then I had the other one too, like you said, the, uh, I think the handprint one. No, the, no, the, the female had the full crow across. It was like the crow silhouette that went across the face. So what was the handprint? Was that like I Echo from Marvel? The, I think that's the mechanic one. Let me see. Yeah. No, Dude, Rob. Had... Oh, Rob, you're giving me terrible flashbacks of Suncoast. Oh, man. Uh, Rob says, yeah, when the white screen crow hit home, home video, he bought it from Suncoast for $99. He goes, it took me two paychecks. Remember Suncoast and their outlandish prices? Dude, so back in the day, that's where I got like my Ghost in the Shell, uh, my Ninja Scroll, and uh, God, I'm trying to remember other movies that just were not available like at the local store. And yeah, I remember paying an arm and a leg. Like back then, it was like twenty dollars when like was the minimum wage was like four twenty five. It was like, dude, it was a lot, crazy a lot. Yeah, the the <clears throat> the Flesh and Blood series is the female one, but she had she had a full crow, like a fully spread out crow across her face, and the tail came down. Then she looked like Hellshock, dude. It, she looked like Hellshock. So, so you which know. one was uh, the handprint? Is that Echo from Marvel? Are we like? I think you're mixing up. I don't. Yeah, because this one here, this one here has a little more of like a. I mean, I'll let you decide. A little more of a scarecrow kind of look to him. Yeah, covers are nice. Right. Yeah, I so think they're uh, um, uh, Mueller, the Mueller covers. Dale is asking if we had a Hastings nearby. Um, we do. Ha we had a Hastings, but it was like in the town over, so it was about maybe a forty-five minute drive to the next town over, maybe an hour. Um, yeah. And yeah, the Hastings was the place, man. I, I love buying my comics from there. They had a bunch of comics, toys, all that stuff. It was like one stop shop. I would take my kids, place. and my my kids would go straight to like the the kids section where they had all the books. They would pop themselves down, read a book there. I thought um, they all went out of business. They all went out of business. No, they were just saying that all, back in the day. They, they had all the J. Scott Campbell exclusives and mm -hmm. stuff, like the Hastings. Didn't they you had pick some up too. Up for like two bucks, three bucks? Like when they, they were going a, under? They had a lot of the Tyler ones too. I just hated the fact that they put like their big old logo on the cover. Oh, Hastings. Kirkham? Yeah. Hastings. Right. 
You could have just put the back cover and just put Hastings in the back, bro. Andy, what do you think? That panel's done. Perfect. See, guys? We Shut got up. it locked in in Shut an up. hour yeah, and 15 right. minutes. This is all going to be black. I just, I needed somewhere to sign it. Yep. So look, man. That's, that wasn't too painful. No, an hour and 15 minutes. We knocked it out. Yeah, I, I mean, granted, it was only one panel. Shouldn't take that long. Yeah, so you got my, my little ragey rage. This little head. Yeah, this is just, like I said, I, I needed to do something simple that I could illustrate simple. So Shelby, uh, you said you're gonna release it as a book. Do you have a, a street date of when you might release this? No, or how? No, it's gonna be Ninja. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Ninja on it. And it's all black and white, right? You're not gonna go in there and drop some colors or some. Now nah, you're lucky to get lettering. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, so uh, what I did, I, I'm having to methodically plan this out. So. The first thing I did before anything was I drew my snow reverse, right? Kind of like that Frank, you know, the Frank Miller chunky stuff, like where it's mm -hmm. all like squares looking. So this here, um, I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to trap all the, all the, you know, all the black is going to be turned into white snow that I can then animate over right. top of things. So there's that. Um, and then on pages like this, so I'm going to scan this as is, right? That page will be scanned as is. Um, after I scan it, I'm going to actually come in with whiteout and hit it with snow like that. I'm going to actually hit it with snow coming across it on every piece. Every panel is going to have snow across it after I scan it. I, I have cool. to scan it first because on the, the video, this is what I'm going to use as the snow asset. It's going to be its own file. I mean, I could even make more like smaller ones if I need to, but basically I just need, I needed snow asset is what I needed. And, um, yeah. So like, like page like this will have it going across. Uh, so the finished one of this for print is going to be a little different. Uh, same thing with this. That's that, that Frank Miller homage, um, will be, will be homage thing with the ninjas. Um, I might actually make a black background of this for print mm -hmm. and then, you know, maybe just do like put the snow in their horizon line with the trees and then have the snow in the, uh, the mid ground. So it's really just, dude, it's all, it's just simple, man. It, it's simple, black and white, um, keeping it easy. Um, this one here is going to be my my title scroller, my title scroller uh, piece. So it's just going to be sort of like I got like coming out from around the moon, and then uh, you know obviously the Earth. This is the only thing that I actually did line art on is the uh, the shading on that. Uh, but everything else is just stark black, like brush. It's all 100% brushing. Right. Yeah. You because know? I'm trying to keep it gelatinous <laughs> just very simple you know yeah so i figure in print it might it might turn out to be like a 16 page a 16 page thing i don't know I got two more pages here to knock out but some of these pages i'm going to flip them sideways so that they make they turn into a spread um like this one is And you can see, man, I just do blue line. So this one's going to be tricky. So I have, you can't really see it, but up here, it's it's going to be the effect of like, he's coming through like the time, the time jumper thing, you know, like his portal. So it's going to be up here. Uh, that'll work really well against the, the mountains and the trees. And then this is him coming through, which is another Frank Miller. It's the Dark Knight. Legend of the Dark Knight, right there, right the pose where he's you like the lightning. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna have it shoot across from this side to this side. I'll have it shoot actually like, shh, shh, and then maybe some splatter effect, you know, some sort of uh, sprites. 
Um, but I'm going to overlay this onto this in its own animatic frame. So you're going to have him actually coming out of it like, and you're going to have some lightning shoot across. So it's going to, it's going to feel like it, but not really, but it is, you know, uh, then he lands, uh, yellow black. He's, he's trekking this guy who's already bleeding and he, you can see the blood coming up through here and then he's, he's trekking it. And this is going to be animated where he's kind of, um, coming up through the snow up this direction. Yeah. And then, um, uh, uh gets barraged by those those ninja guys and uh yeah then th this one like 11 17 but it's, it's a double page where i turned it sideways so you can see uh he's kind of going at it with these dudes um i got my other layouts behind me but uh it i'm gonna bring a uh i'm gonna bring a bear into the mix and it's gonna look kind of cool like gets into the phone like when Brad yeah, more like blue. Fights? More like blue, you know. He's gonna be happy. <laughs> no. no, man, I'm gonna bring a bear to the mix, and he's it's this bear craves human human flesh, and uh, then you're gonna see rage go up against him. But really, I just I need to work with um because we project this huge dude, we project it huge, and I'm like, okay, I need large shapes. That are you can are distinctly a thing, you know, because um, I'm not. I mean, I could very easily just work off scans of pages and just do it cheap. Like, oh, I'm just going to use stuff that's already published, and I'll go through and animate. Really, with animating it, he just wants you to create a motion comic. So maybe specific parts of it are animated, mm -hmm. but it's not like you're creating a cartoon. It's it's more like a just you know, like yeah like one of the things he pulled up um is the uh the the watchman did the, the digital watchman comic the animated one which um find on youtube but it was part of the Zack snyder the watchman uh director cut box set it was its own disc i think and it was like the entire graphic novel with actual voice actors and it, it is animated like every panel has things that happen in it that are like moving and the text kind of sometimes kind of pops up you know so that's cool man uh, just hearing it's, your your new skill set i'm like some of that stuff went over my head well, of how you're gonna do this but i'm sure i that's why i'm doing it <laughs> that's why i'm doing it the way i am i, I have to all I'm Excellent. thinking is some kind of supercomputer that you must have just bought because, like, there's no way anything could just handle After Effects. So, that's it. Is, it, is that Alienware? Look at yep. this guy. You know, funny, I was actually looking at uh, getting it one myself, but I was looking at the Aurora, the, the one that's all white. It's all yeah. kind of overly looking. But my other system's gone, so I we had to get something. So I was like, "Well, congratulations to Jay Ryan, who today he just got his 320 set of oh, Hulu markers. Kudos to you! Can't wait to see you work on glossy stock uh, sketch covers with that set. Now he can fix that Jim and the Hologram sketch cover." <laughs> <and he> can... <laughs> That is so mean. <laughs> Dude, I liked it. I thought it, it came out good, man. Don't, don't, don't listen to the haters. <laughs> I, I, I did a Gem in the Holograms. I know what kind of stock that is. You, it came out good, man. I sent, I sent, um, <laughs> I sent Jay uh, all the copies that I could find of mine. I had I had some some left. So I only had one, so. and it's funny because I messaged him. I'm like, check it out. So what I've been doing, Andy, should I do a, should I do a, should I do a stream where I literally just I pull out all my blanks and just show them off and try to sell some of them to chat? Should I do that? <laughs> like just sell them? Like, hey, you guys want to buy some blanks? Would you guys be down with that? That depends if Jay Ryan wants to go broke. <laughs> 
Jason is never going back, only forward. Would you guys be uh, down with that? You guys want to buy some blanks? Yeah, I'll we'll buy some, some blanks. blanks. So it, or as is, kinda, I'm not drawing on them. Shovel's kind of like uh, taken back because, uh, like, why am I doing it on that stock and why am I doing it on this stock? Honestly, I made like kind of two stacks. One that I had like maybe one or two issues left. And for some reason, for me, it feels like a huge achievement because I wiped out that title. And then I have like the other stack where it's like, where I went a little crazy and See, I, uh, it's a yes. little daunting. Yeah. So like the stuff you guys have been seeing, it's because it's like the last cover that I had. So like the Spider Woman was the last cover that I had. Um, the Vader, I think the Vader was the last cover that I had. I think I have like a Chewbacca, so I might be cranking out something not Chewbacca in it. Um, like, it, it's just so random. So in that stack, it's so funny because I'm like, all right, let's see. I'm just gonna stick my hand in there, see what I, I pull out, and then I'll just crank something on that. I took it out and it was gem in the holograms, and I just sent a message to uh, uh, Jay Wright. I'm like, hey, check it out. It's your bread and butter. To my my to my amazement, he was he did not like ask for it or anything. He was just like, cool story, bro. And he just left it at that. I'm like, wow. If he would have showed me like the Godzilla, one of his 30 Godzilla covers that he had, I would have been like, bro, hook it up, man. I'll send you money. And yeah, he has no interest. Now that he's sitting on all those Godzillas, he has no z zero interest in Gemini holograms. So these are interesting colors here. I'm I'm on eBay right now. Oh, I thought you were showing. Um, no, I'm on. I'm on J, eBay. J Ryan's uh, holograms. <laughs> no, I'm on eBay. I was looking at the. What do you think of these colors? So that amazing X Men has okay stock. They did okay with those colors. Hey, so now that we're talking about colors, since you opened up the floodworks, wasn't there a Darth Vader cover that was trash? Because this last one I drew on was good and i don't remember uh, them being did that you draw good. on the, did you draw on the annual or did you draw on the darth vader number one darth vader number one <clears throat> okay then the annual is the one that's bad then because yeah the annual i think is bad this one looks like it's okay so this is amazing x-men number one it's the one with the uh dark world thor ad on the on the red bar i'll have to look for this yeah this looks like it's okay what else he got? So, show me. Batman. Look, what are your thoughts? Like, because I've, I've had people tell me when it's glossy or what have you, I'm telling them, like, look, you're probably going to get the most, like, an animated look. And then they'll they'll go on and show me, like, this other piece that another artist did. And they went full along with, like, you know, treating the cover first before they drew on it. And then they went in and, and did color pencils and all that stuff. And I'm like, dude, if it's got to go to that extent, like, I might as well just draw something on good stock and just give you an original than try to make something out of the sketch cover that, that's way too much work. Yeah. This is a sh So this one looks okay, too. Well, man, I, I can't tell because they, they don't really... They kind of do cell shading, so that, that's, that can be tricky. Okay, uh, that's so, ish do you have any of this, Andy? 99? No. TMNT 99? No. So this is that, that cover I was telling you. It's not an annual. Sorry about all the glossiness, but this is the one I just did on the Darth Vader and- Yeah, that one turned out good. Dude, the, the Copix took really well to it. It, it had a bit so of it, a, I was worried because I thought it had a little bit of gloss. Hold on, but let me see the credits. Is that the Salvador La Roca book? Um, I have a bunch of those. Yeah, that's La Roca. Okay, yeah, dude. Um, yeah, you the said the Copix really well worked good on it? The Copix worked good? Yeah. Try one out. Let me see. I might actually have some, have some right here. Hold so on. yeah, this is actually one that I did uh, number 11. 11 of 52. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I, have a, I have a stack of blanks like, right here. So I'm gonna see. Yeah, I know Sumo was getting at me about trying to buy a calendar because apparently I can't tell like what week we're on or whatever. But uh... <laughs> Oh, Sumo. Yeah, yeah. they're... They respect, yeah, they respect uh, punctuality. They do, the man. Islands. All right. This is what I had a stack of here. So I had some Street Fighters. They all look like they're swimsuits. Oh, okay. So hold on. Hold up. 
Hold up. Wait a minute. Um, that one. Andy, the do you have this? I drew on one. This. I don't think it blended as well. It, it, it said, was one of. I sent that one to Jay. I think I sent Jay like three or four swimsuit books. So this is one of those that like it disguised like you could do something nice with the colors, and then once you start trying to blend, it didn't blend well. Like it, it bled blend a good. little. You know what I mean? Like when you're going at it and it starts to bleed. Yeah. I ain't got time to bleed. Right, Andy? Right. I ain't got time to bleed. All right, let's see. I'm going to put this in actual bag and board, man. I've had this thing in this bag since last time I was in Hawaii, which was five years ago. Uh, let's see. So this is a black and white book. Sumo, you probably know this dude, right? John uh, uh, Mirakami. Isn't he like a isn't he like a hometown dude out there? Yeah, this is one of his blanks for issue two. I, he had said there was only like twenty five of these, I guess, that he made. I got a bunch of rare stuff out there, man. Like a bunch of rare books. Uh, thanks, Admiral. Andy, what about what about this one? I don't have that one. Thank you, Admiral. He said uh, he loves the piece. Uh, he loves a saber on it, too. And again, Sumo reminding me to get a calendar. <laughs> I sent you this, right, Andy? I sent you one of these, this trade. Uh, the blood I, divine. I'd have to look. It's the one with the... Uh, I think I sent you the one with the sketch material in the back. I might have I might have gave you the good one. Because this one just has some pinups. I think I sent you a better one. Dude, so I'm completely out of spider Gwen officially. And that was something that I got. You need more? Back. I got some more. I got I, some more. I had a if stack. You need them. Like, I got a stack too, man. Aside from... What? Wasn't there one with on a gold yet? label? I have both. I have a gold one, and this one it's the same book, though. What do you think? What, to crank something on it? Yeah, Sumo says, so Phil Phil can't find any, yeah, you're, you're not gonna find anything at the local shops, Phil. No. Um, when you go That's to C2, done. hey, when you go to C2, you're gonna have a lot of vendors that are selling them though, I bet, like a lot. Oh, hopefully not there's over, so artists there. hopefully not overpriced, because sometimes they get a little ridiculous, like $10 for a cover. And they're that's... gonna be overpriced, dude, because they have to pay for their booth, man. Those booths are expensive. <laughs> no, I understand that, Shelby, but like, there are there have been some shops out there that will sell them, if not a cover price, at least five dollars. Like it's it, honestly, someone, someone thinks we treat him. So, like so a, Phil, if you want to get some, treatment. if you want to get some, this is the way you gotta do it. Treat it as a business, in in the sense of like, I know we all want to support our local comic shop. But our local comic shops will not uh, get this. So almost like buying art supplies, you might have to go beyond the Walmart and Target to get your art supplies or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So just order yeah. blanks like a businessman, order them online. Uh, that, that would be my only recommendation to you because I, I sometimes will find one or two here in my local shop, but like some of the more, I don't know, things that I really want to get are usually far, like hard to find. I, I remember one shop Hold said on, that. Let's see if I got some of these other ones. I got some other ones over here too. I think I, I saw uh, one of my shops told me like they had to meet like a requirement to to order them. Um, I know one of the shops. I even told them like, look, if there's any that are coming up, let me know. And that dude, that's an automatic sell for you. Like I will, I will put a deposit down, and that when it comes out three months from now, you know, just put them in my box or whatever. But. It, the way I was explained by some of the local shops is like there's it's like a tier system and depending on how the volume of books that they order is how they like if they only printed 10,000 books then they're gonna go the hit Thunder, up the, the big ones the Thundercats blank that came out on Midtown limit one per customer so I said forget it dude I'm not yeah. paying 12 bucks shit for one for book. five dollar book yeah if I would order 10 of them if they allowed it and that would have made it worth it um, Andy, I just found another one of these uh, in a in a bin, dude. I found another Canaan. That means I got like six of these now. <laughs> these Canaan ones. Yeah. 
Bro, have you seen how much these are selling for right now? Like crazy amount. You, you, you probably don't even have like, to be doing anything right now other than selling those. Dude. Things. And then, uh, Andy, I found these also. Look, I got two copies of WWE number one blank sketch covers. Two of them. Well, dude, what are you doing with that? Ultimate Warrior? Probably Ultimate Warrior. The Iron Sheik? <laughs> Tatanka? Yeah. I mean... Dana! Hey, Dana! Yeah, here, super play... sticker! Yeah, I play gotta play it. a video for Dana. Dana likes this one. Andy, watch. got back problems just like you andy <laughs> you, have you have you ever done this andy where you open one up and it's like a box cutter hit this book bro you can't really see it but it's right here on this this edge it's like the entire over? book the entire book has a cut about that wide through the whole book just on one tip yes sir it's a box cutter blade yep it goes through the whole book dude yep the whole book has it so yes sir I'll make myself big for this. Hey, so, hey, Andy, you know what? You know what I do with books that aren't nine eights? Like this? You send them to me? No, I do this. <laughs> Stop! Oh, you purposely do that. You purposely do that. Oh, it hurts my heart, my soul. My heart, my soul. Get out of here. He he literally did a big nine eights only. A video that I'm surprised did not go viral where he threw it in the trash and he knew I was going to react to it. He knew I was going to react to it. Was Shall that we... the Jim and the Holograms cover that I tore up that I drew and then I, I got mad a... and I threw it away? I think it was a, no, I think it was a Hardy Quinn. Like he just like garbage and he threw it. So Shelby won't touch anything that's a, a, a 9 7 or below. Any little problem with it. He nine, just. Eight. Yeah, if oh, I'm never at a show and you bring me a book that's not a 9-8 candidate, that's what I'm going to do to that book in front of you. Oh, my God. I'll tell you to bring me something worthy of my, my line art. That's oh, Image, Image United, dude, that book is still wet. Like, is anybody, it still wet? Anybody that buys it? that? Can you show it or are you going to get your hands wet? Are you going okay, to so, put it down and have this? Here, let me see if I could... Uh... So... Man, I don't know if you can even see it. So check it out. This, this thing was like, I'm not even gonna take it out of the bag. So this thing, I let sit for three days because I didn't even want to put it on my scanner. I, because I scan all my, my blanks just for record keeping for what I've done. I didn't even put it in my scanner because I was like, this thing's still now like wet. I mean, it's still very much wet, right? After the third day, I said, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and bag it. That's it. As Shelby knows that once you bag a, a book like this, you'll never take it out because that imprint's already on the back forever. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up, but look, if you see closely here, let me see a real zoom. Oh, let me make you big. Did you even try to erase that or did you no, just kind of leave it as Okay, is? look, do you see it right where the ring is at? Right there? Yeah. Look, it's a, a yeah, solid I can see it still. Yes. Yeah, that, I didn't even try to erase. Book. Like, like you could actually see, they'll see some of the pencils in there because I was like, dude, I'm not even committing. I'm not yeah. even committing. That, that's just. <clears throat> but I just uh, image united, super super gloss. No, that's terrible, dude. Dude, bro, you just angered my hand. You just made my hand angry. <laughs> it's Wilson. Is it Wilson? <laughs> it's Wilson. <laughs> 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 
dude, like literally, I'm drawing like this. Like, imagine like, the brush, and I'm like literally doing this. Like that, that's the distance of my hand, like the whole time. But didn't uh, Mark Penguin, are you still here? I think Penguin bought. I almost think I did a bad rock on one, maybe. No, but oh, didn't no, you do Penguin it on the expo? Oh, that's right. It's the expo book. Yeah. Yeah, this is United. This is the one that had all the creators. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and I was like, you know what? There was never a, a, a Battle Chasers blank. I'm just going to do Red Monica on that. Call it a day. But dude, it was unforgiving. Like, no mistakes. Like, you had to 100% commit on that book. Wilson like, for Rick. There you go, Rick. <laughs> All I did was I grabbed my pen the wrong way, Rick. This is wicked. Do you think Wilson is like a spirit? Do you think he's like a deity? Is I Wilson so. actually a deity? And they were just like, uh. Yeah, man, it won't come off now. Am I stuck? Well, Sumo, I'm glad you asked. You could follow me on Instagram. They're getting posted all the time there. That's usually where people will be like, hey, man, I want it. And then we just try uh, do the transaction. They're all there, man. I, as soon as I, I make it, I post it, and I move on, on to the next. Sometimes, they'll, I'll, if I remember, I'll go back and put on the post it sold. If it, you know, just send me a DM if anything catches your eye. Um, I tried to put them on the store, but as of late, I've just been completely busy to kind of update the online store. So it's it's the best way. Just DM me, and then we can figure things out if you're interested in any of the sketch covers. DM you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And J, J. Ryan said, you can follow me on Threads as well. And on uh, Blue Sky. I'm on Blue Sky as well. You, you are not. Yeah, I'm on Blue Sky. You got a Blue Sky account? Yeah, you want me to hook oh, you man, up? I got to figure out for this. Shoot. I still gotta scan my Daredevil and finish that Daredevil. So yes, Sumo, I do have a TikTok as well, but I'm not as active on that. Uh, I know you asked. There it is. <laughs> hey, Mark. Mark actually called you out as a Vampire Hunter D. I've forgotten about the hand at all. Like, yep. Rah, rah, rah. Tattoo Wilson. Yeah, Marty, should I go to? Should Mark I walk? Should I walk battle. down? Should I walk down to uh to Black Lotus Tattoo and have him tattoo this on my hand? Yeah, just be like, do it. Just trace it. Can you guys trace it? Uh, man. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to catch up with chat here. It says here, Rob says that you should do a, a Warrior versus the Crow. And. Ultimate Warrior? No, not a sketch cover, man. They're 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 glossy. I've already I've already uh, opened one up before. They're they're like not. Oh, yeah, hey, I, I got one better. You should do Sting. Bam. Black and Sting? white. Sting. Hey, isn't this uh, who goes by Hopeless as their name as a writer? Isn't that uh, Acuna? Isn't that the same artist that was working on X Force? The only like, Hopeless I know. Years ago? The only hopeless I know is not hopeless, but I know Sandra Hope, and that's the inker. Andy, uh, Sandra Hope, who works at Wildstorm, right for mm -hmm. DC. Hey, you know how you know how small of a world it is, bro. Hmm. Um, her dad was my math teacher in high school. For oh, that's crazy for one half of the year. Yeah, her dad teaches math uh, out in California. Hey, so here's a blast from the past. You know who just came out like on my feet? Like on my feet, just randomly on my feet? Christina Z. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was so, so crazy. And it's funny because I clicked on it and she literally, I think she has a witch plate on her info. Oh, really? I'm like, man, she hasn't been on witch plate since Probably Turner, right? Randy Green? No, she was inking Randy Green probably on it. Wait, Randy Christina, Green did some fill-in issues. Christina Z was an inker? I thought she was a writer. No, no, no. Oh, you, no, yeah, I, saw, I thought you were talking about uh, uh, Hope. Um, no, so Christina Z... Oh, man. I mean, I could check. I got the... Uh, I got the... <laughs> 
I got the collections. I'm just saying, dude. It was like a blast from the past. Like Christina Z. Dang, I hadn't heard that name forever. Yeah, hold on. Let me see. Let's see if I got. I might actually have them right here. Oh, Rick says that he'll be down uh, if you do a Rowdy 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 Piper on WW. Well, it's WWE, right? Not WWF. Right. Yeah. He says he's down for that. Yeah, I got two. I got two of the compendiums for the Witchblade books. Um, and yes, Admiral, uh, we all ship our comics in top loaders. I do not. Even if mine's not a 9-8 candidate, I still like to protect the art piece that I did on that cover. So mine are on top loaders as well. On Gemini and top loaders. Here, I'm gonna flip my camera so I can show, I can show chat. Let's see. All right, so these are those compendium. These are old, man. These are like back when compendiums were cheap. So compendium one. I'll just wait for the next uh, Top Cow uh, Kickstarter. <laughs> It's Christina, Christina Z, right? Yeah, Christina Z. So, let's see. I'm going to see how many issues I can go deep to see if she's still on it. This is a fat book, man. These things are so hard to read. I kind of prefer them if they're like smaller, like maybe a one and a half inch thickness uh, book. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I got a couple of walking beds like that. That's when Turner left. Yeah, Randy Green took over, man. Uh, I'm not seeing... And then Kucha. Yeah, Kucha did a little bit. This is volume one. I don't know... Uh, hey, remember this piece? This was a Jimmy J exclusive right here. I think Jimmy might have the original. It's some limited prints. Remember this? This piece here? Oh, yeah. That Sylvester, that was badass. Yeah, I like that piece a lot. Look, Jay Lee... Jay Lee when he was doing uh, females that looked human. <laughs> All right. So Christina Z was still on the book through this entire run. As a like. as a writer. As a writer. Yeah. Paul Jenkins. No, no. Paul Jenkins took over on issue forty. Issue forty. Christina Z, final issue 39. Yeah, so she did the first 39, which ended in 2001. 01. This is stupid. I got a soft cover, volume one, and then the hard cover at two. Andy, you know where I got these from? Um, I got these from. I got these from El Paso. The guy had him for like the guy had him for like ten bucks. Wow. You know how you know you know the guy I'm talking about? He that wholesaler. Uh he's at Phoenix quite a bit. Um, him and his wife, but they usually do wholesale on uh trade paperbacks and hardcovers and stuff. Sumo wants me to draw a hot babe. I might do that. Yeah, I've only drawn dudes so far, huh? Too hot, babe. Look at that. So Whoa, you want me to draw that? full on tongue, bro. Look at that. Oh, no, that's not a tongue. Damn, yeah, from a is. distance, it looked like a tongue. No, that's the bottom lid. I think it is. It's I think it is. Lid. I don't know whose it is. <laughs> that's, she's sucking his gum line out. He has no teeth. God, what a weird splash. They paid that dude for that. It's kind of a cool piece. I don't like this one. These are cool colors. I think, is that Tyler's work? No, that's Manipal. It's Francis. I don't know, man. Some of these books are ass, dude. You could, you could see the quality just gradually dip and dip until it was just, just cancel a book already. God, man. If this was early Witchblade, we would have never bought it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we would have never bought this. Gotta make the quota, man. Gotta finish the quota. Yeah. Uh, Sumo says that my sketch covers lately have been a uh, a cover sausage fest. Oh, the arms wild? Yes. 
Yeah, he's talking about that that crazy arm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Some of this stuff. They tried to keep some of the romanticism that um, Turner would bring to it, but it just, it it's just not Mike's work, so it just doesn't, yeah, it's not the same. Well, it's like um, Generation X, uh, when Back a Little Laugh, they, it kind of like, I think they tried to kind of mimic it, but he just didn't. Yes. He just yeah, had, it, he, he made the look of that book and it just it hit different when uh, somebody tried to duplicate it. Well, I'm going to see if Christina Z did anything in here. Um, we got, it's kind of a cool cover right here, though. Uh, Man of Paul, it's like a painted, almost like a painted look. Um, man, that was weird. What a weird, that's, this is Kirkham, because he still sells this print. He just changes the city? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he changes the city for the print for the same reason. I'm waiting for the El Paso one. So this is all uh, David Wall and Paul Jenkins on story, I think, man. So yeah, I think Christina Z, she quit working on issue 39. Yeah, then someone named Chuck Austin took over. Oh, this is weird. Uh, Jeff Johns wrote one issue. Issue 67. Yeah, she might have moved on to do something else. Jeff Johns wrote one issue of Witchblade. It's interesting. Uh, Ian Edgington, Troy Hickman. Yeah, this might have been around the time when they were looking for people that wanted to work for Exposure Bucks. Oh, I love that back of one. Which one's that? Upper left. Those issues are in here. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did two or three, and they're all good. Yeah, he did a few uh, fill-ins. They were good. So that's issue 87. I think he did one of the 90s, because I have I have all the floppies of those. I picked up just the, the ones that had his cover for that reason. No, no, he did the interiors, too. Of which plate? Dude, I'm going to have to look for that, then. Yeah, yeah, that, that specific book he did. That's issue 87. This sucks because they don't really show you. It says 95. I guess they do show you at some point here. Let's see. 79 says 20 Daniels. Meh. You can do without it. Overrated. Uh, 81. 84. It's, it's the next issue, Andy. Uh, 85. Uh, that's not back look. Why that's did it say? Glenn. That's Greg Land. Oh no Can no, he... it's right here. No, he did. Watch, watch. So, let's turn this. Here, okay, eighty-seven. So this is Bacalo right here. Here, I'll make myself big so you can oh, see. Oh yeah it. yeah yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this this issue is Bacalo eighty-seven. See, you could tell from the dude's face. Yeah, I think it's uh, Townsend Dinks, too. I think Tim Townsend. That's instant, instant success right there. Yeah, I'm skipping some pages, too. He did some fill-in issues between... I think uh, Kucha was trying to... Kucha couldn't stick with a monthly book. So, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. They should have done... Oh, I guess this is my opinion, but they should have had him for at least six to twelve to kind of establish like that run. Because just to throw him in for an issue, like I they couldn't afford him. Just when you Not just it. what you showed, like I don't think it reached his full potential of what he could have done for that title. Uh, the book was already on the way out. I don't think the book was selling enough to sustain a good artist, to be honest, sales wise. <laughs> So Shelby, do you have your, your thoughts for the next five blank covers that you got going on? No, I, I think that chat wants me to do a stream showing off all my blanks. Sell them some blanks as is, man. <laughs> but you still got to do Brought the to you by, there you go, Wilson. Wilson. Get the Wilson hand. Wilson. 
That's weird, huh? It is weird. It's very much Wilson. Lord of the Flies, bro. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, yeah. oh, what are you guys Christmas. doing today? Well, I know they're waiting for me so we could get lunch at 3 o'clock for some oh. reason, but it's lunch. Oh, we'll go get lunch. And then uh, and then I'm probably going to try to sit down and crank out that cover for today. Okay. So I could have my, my 13 to 52. Um, because kind of communication is kind of difficult with our schedules, Shelby, uh, just, a, I mean, I, I'm, I know I'm throwing this on live on the air, but um the the day of the show i'll be flying in um, to where phoenix i'm gonna fly to phoenix i'm renting a car i'm gonna hit you up and then the next day i'm gonna go back to phoenix to catch why up. are you not taking the day off from work and then just driving well i am taking the day off uh but it was so cheap to fly out there yes uh southwest and rent a car that it made no sense for me to spend more on driving out there. I literally jumped on one of those like super Southwest. You know how sometimes they'll tell you like fly out there for twenty nine dollars, and you're like, that's never gonna be where I no, need to I, go. No, I don't. I don't know that because when I looked up flights to you, it was like six hundred bucks. Yes, but that's out of Tucson. Yeah, yeah. I'm flying even Phoenix. Phoenix. Even Phoenix. Yeah, but even Phoenix was four hundred plus. Uh, it was. It, it would have been like a thousand dollar trip, even no, with Phoenix. Dude, I, when I, I think when I was looking at the tickets, it, it's cheaper to me for to just fly out there in an hour and rent mm -hmm. the car and drive down to Tucson than it is to drive out there for five and a half hours. Okay. So um, I'll share my itinerary with you uh, for that right. day, but just to let you know, I'm, I'm catching a flight out there. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> that will never happen. That will never happen. No, 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 no. Listen, I always got, I always got Wilson. I always got Wilson. But why are you? But isn't your left hand your dominant yeah, hand? No, I'm a righty. <laughs> You're a righty. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, no. Man, people are very much concerned about this. No, 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 no. I, dude, like, I'm going to go see him. As a matter of fact, for because chat would probably like to know this, I'll be seeing Shelby again in two weeks after that. Um, I just got to convince him to go with me to the state fair. Did you buy tickets for that already? Yes, sir. And I could buy yours, too. You just have to say it. I just don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look at. Like. It's on a Friday. What, what? It's on a Friday. It's on uh, a Friday. Yeah, uh, I'll look at the dates, dude. I'll look. I'll. I'll look at the dates and see. Because they're they're flying, they're flying somewhere. Um, kind of soon, I think. Well, dude, if you're gonna be home alone, let me go pick you up. We'll go check well, out. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll have to look at the dates. I'll have to but look at the dates. Shall we? Even if they're home, but, um, if they're home, bring them along. It's a state fair. My kid don't want to see Chevelle. Are you kidding me? Yeah, she does. She even, dude, she wouldn't even sit through. <laughs> she wouldn't even sit through uh, churches, dude. Like. <laughs> Well, okay, so just so you know, Shelby, I got the, the I guess it's the entrance for twelve bucks. What's up, Dean? And then, and then I paid Dean. I paid the extra twenty for the uh the Dean, VIP. look. Look, my ink my my uh my leaky ink pen became uh Wilson. Her. <laughs> oh no, did I freeze or did he freeze? It was me. It was my oh. internet. It's been it's been uh, it's been raining here, so crazy, crazy. Yeah, yes. maybe I'll pull out all my blanks and I'll show them off. And I'll, uh... Well, can I can I pull rank and can I get a, a VIP uh, exclusive of what you're gonna put out there before everybody else gets a dip? You want to pull rank? Yeah, can I pull rank?
<laughs> See, chat, this is what you guys should be concerning about. See, he, there's no favoritism on that end. <laughs> I'm thinking about my, uh, hold on, I'm gonna look at my Google Sheets. I have, oh, I yeah. have, uh, everything. Uh, it's okay. it the, she, she made, she made the whole Google Sheets thing for me, so. I, I remember, I remember, because I remember she was in the living room kind of organizing everything. So we did something similar too, and that thing blew up because you ended up sending me some stuff, and I think I sent you some stuff, and then I knocked out some stuff, and then I did sell some of the, I, did, I never updated that sheet, so I don't even know. I, I don't, yeah. I don't see, oh, here we go, it's a Google Doc. Let's see if I can open this thing up. Hey, you want to see? You want to see my? Uh... Here, I'll show you. You want to see the sheet, Andy? Yeah, go for it. Chat, don't believe me. So this is my Google Doc with all my blanks. It has the box number, the box number and the quantity, and these are all books. These are all books, bro. Yikes. And it even says what box has them. And, and right. these are long boxes, by the way. No, most of them are short. So it, you can't you have that many of 68? Look at this. Look Why at this do you right have here. That many? Look at this right here. You know what this means? Bro, I ain't playing, man. I got I got blanks on blanks, dude. Look at blanks on blanks. Look at this. Is that crazy? Yeah. I, I probably have a whole lot of the X-Men stuff. Yeah, she put she put the in front like she actually put the title name for like the books. Mm -hmm. This one here I got oh man. I just can't believe you had like 12 issues of 68. Of which one? 68. It was like the first one on your list. My Deadpools, I got 14, 13, and one of Deadpool 287. So I got like 30 copies of Deadpool 87. If Deadpool 300, I got 11, 2, 1, and 8. And each one of these is a box, by the way. <laughs> Jay Ryan's over here. They're, uh, uh, they're lettered. Taking a screenshot of what you got to send your DM later. <laughs> oh, did you say? Yeah, for here, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna see if, let's see. Jay, what did I send you? I sent you gem, right? Yeah, did you update the gem and the holograms? <laughs> I did, look. It's crossed out. Jay Ryan took my gems, dude. You were gonna put them on eBay for 20 bucks a pop. What did you do? I. I, I, uh, I blessed, hashtag blessed, uh, J. Ryan. J. Ryan. That's what I did. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Like, this is my action. So, anytime I pull from a box, I, I readjust the number here. And then it just, because yeah, it's Google, so it updates it. You know, it keeps it. Well, you're a good, good, uh, organizer, man. Because, like, I'm telling you, I did no, my, not, my I didn't sushi. And no, it's nothing like that. It's <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going to have to go back and actually go and, and fix it again. And uh, right now it's just, my goal is just to wipe out these boxes. You need some Star Wars one, Andy? I got 22 in that box, 22 in this box. And Holy then I have, a, I have an unsorted long box of them too. Cause I went heavy on them when they came out. I got like, cause I, I ordered a, uh, 380 of them from drawn to comics when they came out wow oh i told him i said if, if i order this many books you have to give me the alex ross variant like i made the deal with them he's like okay uh what is this book super do you like superman hey what book were you looking for that you said you were out of <laughs> No, I don't want you to send me more. It was just a, a, an amazing experience to wipe it out. No, what 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 was it? Supergirl or what was it? 
Uh, it was Spider Spider Gwen. Yeah. Spider Gwen. Because now she's Ghost Spider, right? So, Ghost Spider, I have two. Uh, Spider Gwen Volume One, I have four. Uh, volume Two, Number One, I have ten, eleven, twelve. See, and I don't even know which one I have. Volume, volume I Two. Uh, volume Two is the one where they brought in Silk, I think. Volume one is the one with the Adam Hughes variants. So which one is the one that has the big red bar at the bottom? That's the one I went heavy on. Uh, 2010. I think that's volume one. Yeah, so that's the one I went yeah, heavy so on, I got, and that's the one I just I got four out. of it. So I originally had, I think, 10 of those, and I'm completely out. I've drawn on the last one. I'm so happy. Yeah. Venus, this, this is just a Google Doc. Uh, that my wife put together for me so that I would know what I had, honestly. No, Admiral, I did not say that. I did not say to take them to cons words. and sell them for two well, times. See. I might have a red Sonya. Damn, I don't have a red Sonya. I have a red Sonya. You want me to send it to you? No. <laughs> no. I sold off all my... I had a... I, I used to be in the speculator market, Penguin, and I and I sold off my. Uh, I had like like all three variants plus the second and third printings of the Silk books. Um, it was uh was it number four, the Amazing Spider-Man four or something like that. Uh, I got them all graded nine eights and sold them for like premium, bro. When they were like my Gwens too. I think I only have one left of my first Gwen, the Spider Verse two. Um, the other like five or six copies I had, I sold them all. Even the uh, Gray Land variants, I, I flipped them way back. They were going for like a grand, dude. Like way back. Um, do you have any of these? What else am I... Shelby, do you have any of these? Where'd you find that at? In my box. Let me see. No, I don't. According to the list, I don't. You want one? I have, uh, I have two, I think. Are you, are you jonesing to draw another max? If you got, if you got two, maybe, maybe, maybe one, if you got two. Yeah, that way I could contribute to your, uh, your 52 weeks. I'm sure people would love to see the max. I want to know, hold on. Okay, so The Walking Dead, I have six. P, T, let me go down here. That's really weird, man. How many Walking Deads do you have? Um, I think I'm down to my last six. I think and I feel, I feel like I used to have like fifty of those, dude. I think I have three, and one of them is one fifteen, and hey, how many of these do you have? None. I gave you mine. This is the only one you had. I froze up. How many of those do you have? Um, that Andy, that's that's one of the worst blanks you could ever draw. By the way. I know. I've drawn on it twice, and it was basura. I know a guy. Hey, I know a guy in Hawaii, and Sumo probably knows who he is too. There's a guy who paints on those. He does acrylic paintings on those. And they're awesome. I have seen his covers go for like 3,200, 4K. I believe it. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, people will show painted. me a blank like that and be like, can you, like, can I commission you for something like he this? He does like, No, because yeah. I'm not a yeah. painter. Like, I. He's out of right. Hawaii. J. Ryan, I got one for you. You paying attention? Okay, put the pencil down, look up to the monitor. I got something. You may have 30, uh, Godzilla blanks, but do you have these bad boys? No, he doesn't have any of those. I never do you seen have him any those. of these. So these are going to be a part of the 52 that I do. I actually have them on the stack of what I want to. I have them. 60 copies of that left. Andy, look, superior foes of Spidey. Look, I got 11 plus 10 plus one. I got what? 22. But I got that's 22 because... Superior Foes number one, which is a great stock cover. 
Right. I was going to say, that was your favorite. You were doing the lens Spider-Man and those, right? Yeah, Sumo, he, he does the Hawaii shows. Uh, he he does, like, just acrylic painting, realistic paintings of, like, uh, Game of Thrones. And he does other stuff, too. But um, I'm just saying I've seen his Game of Thrones because I know the guy who commissioned him. And uh, he's he's flipped graded copies that are, like, nine sixes for, like, 3800 Yeah. So, uh... Jay, I'll sell you some. I got, I got both editions, too. I got both of them. I got, let me see here. I'll tell you how many I got. I only did one run of them. So for you guys just uh, joining us, uh, thank you for joining me and Shelby on our uh, selling sketch blanks, uh, whatnot. Uh, up next, we have- oh, uh, <laughs> I got 67. <laughs> I got 67 of one cover. I got four randos and then 63 of cover B. I got 64, 60, 67, 4, and 63. Back to the future? Anybody? It's up on auction? I might. I might. <laughs> hold on. I might have that. I have... The Home Sketch Blank Network. That's what I'm going to call this. Or, or we have to start a, a whatnot channel, shall we? And we'll just call it the Home Sketch Blank Network. Yeah, man. <laughs> yep. Yeah, dude. I'll uh, yeah, I'll go through my blanks now. I'll go through and see kind of what's up. Yeah, I got quite a few of a lot of these. I mean, I'm trying to find stuff that people are just like, I didn't know existed. Which which Vader did you say did you draw on? It was the Vader one, right? Vader one, not not the uh, Darth animal. Vader, not the animal. Um, Darth Vader one. I got one. Oh, it looks like I only have two of those. Dude, I'm telling you, try try drawing on one of them. I, I would love to know your take on it. I feel like I have more. I feel I was, like I have. Uh, I was very I surprised like by the start. Mega Man. Shoot. Yeah, maybe I'll draw a Vader. What? What? The master, the master Mix? Do you know this existed? You know what? I'm going to start making a stack. And when I go visit you, I'll, I'll take the books with me. No, nah, because you're going to ruin them. They won't be 9 8s. They got to be shipped. <laughs> you see, a, a this, is, this is the true Shelby. <laughs> container. Don't you ever bring those on a plane. But I bring them in the, that that hard case. What are you talking about? You know, my little accordion thingy. No, that's not how it... No, dude, because you can bend a corner. Anything can you happen. You can. It's so. a hard box. They need to be shipped in bubble wrap. <laughs> two pillows. Two pillows. Two floaties, <laughs> box. And another box with more packing peanuts. Where exactly is your hand now? Takes me to warm pillows. Those aren't pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't pillows. Those aren't pillows. Is that planes, trains, and automobiles? Yes, sir. That's right. People like Nor are like, what are you talking about? It makes no sense. Yeah. That's good, man. Well, shoot, dude. I'm going to have to do a... Uh... So I know you sh you sent me this one. That's on my to do list. It's super glossy. Awesome. Yeah, you sent me this one. one. Yeah, I didn't even know this existed. And you're like, oh, oh dude, I got some. Yeah, I got a. I think I got a couple of those. Let me see how many more of those I got. Jay Ryan's probably gonna want one of those. Uh... Weird. I don't. It's not even on my list. It. I have a short box of like like the rarer ones and mm -hmm. i think i pulled it from there i'm pretty sure i got uh, duplicates of it andy how many masks do you have none zero do you want any <laughs> Not really. i got 10. no because i have to yeah. draw cars in that unless i draw that what was it 1980s movie mask just draw the guy's face going heavy with the copics maybe draw matt, share just draw matt tracker what, what's his name um 
Matt Tractor. He's the one that drove the Z28. No, no, no. I'm thinking of the guy from the movie Mask. What was it? Eric Stoltz? Oh, Rocky Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> I could just draw him on the cover. <laughs> draw him. Yeah, just and draw him and, and share. Draw. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> what is he doing? Here. I just started something. I just know I started Here. something. So, I want you to draw... I want you to draw... Um... Where the hell is my other guy at? I got all these loose figures in here. All right, so I want you to draw... Um... On the mask blank, right? I want you to draw Rocky Dennis <laughs> flying this. Dude, <laughs> Dude no? I, vehicles and and like tanks yeah, his, are just his hair like, is too tall. Super He's, hard. Yeah, his hair is way too tall. Where did you oh, find mask. that? I'm surprised you even have that. Look. Hold up, look. I got a. Uh, I got you a have the tracker. Camaro. Look, look. I got a Matt Tracker with the helmet. If you had the Camaro, man, I, my mind would be blown right now. The, who is this guy? What's his name? Raja or something like that. He. I don't have the bike, but I have the guy with the helmet. This dude. He was like Eastern Indian. Uh, this guy though, he doesn't go to this. He. I don't have the helicopter guy, but I have this. Uh, I have him without the helmet. Didn't he? He had the flamethrower guy, right? This was the... I forgot his name. So I was at... Uh, remember... Do you remember last time we did Vegas? Amazing Vegas? Mm -hmm. Dude, there's this guy named Alex that came by. Bro, he threw a handful of mask figures like on my prints. He walked by and just threw them down. He goes, enjoy. I was like... So I put them in my bag and I just kept them. I'm like, I don't know if he was playing or what. He, he threw all these like random 80s toys like just on my... Uh... Dude, and those go for a, a good amount too. Yeah, what else did he throw in there? Oh, he threw... Here. He threw these like bag... These are short packs apparently. This Batmobile and this like yellow... These are Hot Wheels that are mm -hmm. like collector cars. Um... Oh, and then he threw me... He threw me a, a Game Boy Advance Gumby cartridge. <laughs> you didn't even have a Game Boy Advance. <laughs> yeah, I kept him in my desk. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that, man. I was like, all right. People just throwing 80s toys at me. I don't know what's going on. Sumo's telling me I should draw on that Mechanica. Yeah, I probably will. Yeah, he wants you to... Yeah. Again, I'm trying to I'm trying to phase out as many one or two blanks that I have left because like the X Men, I have like twenty of them. It, it's so daunting. Like it, it scares me. You know what I can do? I could do like what I did with Vader, that Vader print. Like I could have like the damaged mask helmet, and then like the other half is revealing his face. <laughs> it's Rocky Dennis. It's like yeah. that's why they had the mask. Mm hmm. What's up, Sai? Do you have a sloth? No. No sloth. You know what I do have? Oh, look, there's that gem. I, have, I got Dorothy's Enlightenments. <laughs> Dorothy. Andy, look. They're shaped like, um... They're shaped like caskets. <laughs> That's terrible. Sorry, I got ink in my hand, and everyone said everyone's saying it looks like um, Wilson. Look at. I like, I like how um, before you eat one of these, she like low key like puts you down. Look at, and it says. Take one before sleep, sweetheart. Pray for brains. Sauce. 
What's All up, right. Mommy? Just, I'm going through my uh I'm gonna need two of these. Last ones. So like the metal is the last one I have. It's Wilson. He got on my hand and they said it looks like Wilson. And I got that Aphrodite nine. That's on my last one pile as well. Whoa, hold up. You got Mmm. I need that. Well, look, dude, you could tell like how thin that paper is that you could see the, the first page in that. I know, paper. but I, I still need it. This was my last thing of mints that I had, Andy. Happy little tree mints. <laughs> and they were, they were trees. Tree mints. Look, I ate, bro, don't call me a pig. Look, I ate them all. It's about healthy, fresh breath. So I have this one in my last as well. Uh, Top Cow Sketchbook. Yeah. And then the one you sent me, the Willy's Wonderland, the last one. We got oh, this yeah. one too. I've seen a lot more people drawing this, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah, I know. That one's glossy. trash. That's no, no, no. It's not even glossy. Andy, the cover to that is the interior stock. It's a yeah. 65, 65 text. It's tissue paper. Um, yeah. And then Shelby sent me these. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with these. Did I send you both of those? Yeah, you're like, here, have fun drawing negative. <laughs> oh, in your stack of stacks, how many more of these do you have there? The Edward? Hold on, my cat's trying to pull my books. How many Edwards do you have in your uh, Excel sheet there? Which one? The Edward scissor hands? How many do you have in your uh, Excel sheet? IDW, right? Yeah, IDW. I got three plus, I got six. I got three plus three. So what's funny is that I, I think I Look. went heavy on them and I got like 10. It's Kit Kat. Hey, Kit Kat. I went large and I ordered like 10 of those. I knocked them out. What's wrong with you? And I think I picked up a couple more that were on sale somewhere. So that's actually my last yeah. one now. Like if they, dude, if they dropped a, a Beetlejuice blank for some reason, some IDW craziness. You don't, uh, you don't okay. want any more Edwards. Mm, I kind of like the idea, the the feeling of accomplishment of <laughs> finishing up a title. <laughs> do I need to? Jay, Jay, send me forty four dollars PayPal, Jay. And you're just gonna I'm randomly gonna select stuff? That's what I did to him last time. Jay, send me sixty-four six Jay, send me sixty-six dollars PayPal. And how many books is he getting out of that? I don't know. It depends on how I feel. <laughs> I'm looking at my quantities here, I'm like, damn. Hey, uh do you have any of the fear itself book? I got two. Fear itself, nah, nah that the was Marvel, never interesting. The Marvel blank. It had a giant logo in green, and it had like the tiny. No, dude, I did actually uh, say no to a lot of these. So that Fantastic Four cover that I have, this one, I have. I thankfully have zero. Of Andy, that, what's? Because I wiped them out. Twelve. Twelve plus eight. <laughs> Twelve plus Twenty. eight. 20. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not done. Plus four? Plus two. 24? 26. 24. 26. The 26 that's of like those? 25. Yeah, it'll make 25. Okay, so I, w I wish I wish you and I were to discuss Jay, along the way. $69 PayPal. <laughs> You're going to inherit a lot of fantastic four books. <laughs> Jay, send me PayPal and I'll send you some books. But it has to be more than, it has to be more than a. Uh, Try to think, because shipping to him was was I, I charged him shipping on his last batch. I was gonna say, isn't shipping it has to be more than thirty three. Has to be more than thirty three. Isn't shipping already like sixty six dollars to Canada? I mean, it could be. Andy, have you drawn on any of the Garbage Pell Kid blanks? No, I, I never got any. You haven't? Oh, I got eight. I had no interest in drawing them, so I didn't pick up any of those. 
No, I got four. I have 10, 11, 12. I have 14 Ghost Rider ones. That one that I just did that wraparound. Mm -hmm. I got 14. Yeah. Was this any? Was this a good stock? No, it was terrible. Hey, you know, you know what a you know what a good stock a good stock Star Wars blank is. But it that, feels like it's got some grit. It's, it's it's not good. The uh, the the best stock um, the best stock Star Wars blank instead of Star Wars number one. <laughs> throw throw baka throw baka um yeah he said throw it back too, it's too small i gotta throw it back in the league shut up the uh the lando do you have any lando number ones no i didn't get any lando okay okay i i'm not i'm not kidding you the lando one did the best with copic markers than even the Star Wars number ones, dude. I'm not kidding. Um, What's funny is the uh, oh man, the yeah. Princess Leia. One. I only did one of them, but it came out great, and it took me like four years to sell the damn thing. I think it was the Princess Leia that that Shelby and I had a discussion that it seemed like midway through production they changed the stock of the paper because some of them were decent and then some of them were gloss. So like you literally could have picked like drawn on one and said, oh, "Hey, this is." It cool. was fifty fifty. It was 50-50. Yeah. You would either get a glossy Leia or a nice one. Yeah. Yeah. And then you went in there drawing one of them that was nice. You're like, oh, it's a good stock. And then you tried to repeat it with another another blank. And it's like, oh, man, what happened? Like, this paper is completely garbage. Yeah. Damn, I don't have that picture here. Um... I'm going to see if I get... Let me see if I can find this thing. Uh, post from you. Shut up, cat. Well, to maximize mm. my order, I'll go ahead and pick up my order from your house. <laughs> my blank order. I'm trying to find that Lando cover that I did so I can show off. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, so here I'm a blessed chat with this. Uh, I told April, I told April about it, and uh, she was like, she's like, no way. So then I, at Phoenix Con, she did, she was doing this. This was a commission that April was drawing, dude. What do you think of this Lando, Andy? What do you, Andy? What do you think of Lando? <laughs> Looks like a good stock. No, she's trying to eat my witch blades. Get out. Here, no, do you like it? I'll make it full screen for chat. I think it's exquisite. Is it exquisite? Exquisite. <laughs> hey, look, look. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> Leia, don't mind if I do. That's right. Here, I'll show you mine. Um, Let's see what you drew. That was April. I don't know why I have that. That was April. Oh, I, I tagged her in it from uh, Phoenix Con. Well, anyways, this is my Lando. Dude, I'm telling you right now, man. Look at Look at how nice that turned out. It turned out so good. That's cool. But I'm telling you, man, Co Copics on this cover, dude, they, they it, it just took it well. It took it so good. People yep. just don't know the excitement of actually drawing a good stock, man. Because it's just like... Right. If it could communicate what you had in your head on paper, it's awesome. I, I hate having to struggle like um well like Jay Ryan may know from his gym in the holograms. <laughs> he was trying to achieve something and that stock just did not just did not. I'm gonna make my cat eat that uh that the cable X Force the cable X <laughs> the X Force. Dude, you should have just let me have that book when I got there and I would have just knocked out a cable on it and call it a day. Oh. We're gonna get Tell me, man, that Lando, Lando's good stock, dude. You shouldn't have ripped up that cable X Force. We, we could have drawn something and given it away at chat. Still could. <laughs> now it's torn in half. 
My chat, lo my chat loves garbage, dude. I'll throw it all in a bag of no borders. <laughs> there you go, forty-five. Whoever wants it, forty-five dollars. Yeah. Thirty-three dollars, Jay Ryan. I'll send you that. <laughs> Add an additional thirty-three to the sixty-nine, and uh, he'll throw in that cable X Force. Okay, so, okay, so, so, uh, Sumo wants me to draw a babe. I'll draw a babe today for my sketch. But Sumo is no color, though. I'm only gonna do black and white. What character? Should I do an X Men book? Should I do like a? Mm, Oh, 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 I got one. I got one. Since you have like a plethora of uh, image expos, why don't you do um, Witchblade on an expo? Since it's got to be black. Oh, and on white. an expo book? Yeah, I might do that. Yeah. Yeah, I might do that. I might do a, a Witchblade. Um, dude, I think you gave me a Witchblade blank. I did. Is did it I your inventory? It? Did you, is it in know. your inventory? If you have that Witchblade blank. I feel like I never drew on it. No, you know what I gave you? I think I gave you an Aspen book. You you gave me a Fathom number one. Yes. Because I do have that. I, and fathom. I have not drawn on it yet. Yeah, I don't see Witchblade here. The Witchblade I have and the Witchblade I have wasn't a 9-8, so you had no interest in it. But it was one of those uh, Top Cow uh, exclusive or whatever, uh, convention exclusives. And the paper looked a little watered out. Like it probably had some water damage. I have okay. that cover. But I think I sent you the the, the 99 candidate uh, Aspen. That's what I sent you. The 9-8 the nine candidate. Andy, any final words? I'm gonna end this, dude. You gotta go eat lunch. Yeah, man. Uh, thanks everybody for joining us and uh, seeing Shelby's um, ink. Short, short, short. Thanks, guys. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one.
Post credit scene. Anything? Huh? Post credit? Post credit scene? Post credit scene? No. No. Just Wilson. <laughs>